Yo, what's going on? Yo, what's going on? Yo, what's going on?
Yeah. No. This isn't a good start. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Already being eaten by the Ravager. <laughs> Hold on. I might, I might need this for my thumbnail. There we go. <laughs> I'm a piece of corn stuck in the teeth. <sighs> Just an afterthought. A morsel. Get a toothpick, man. <laughs> <laughs> Pluck him out. There you go. Oh, there we go. I'm out. You. Dislodged. <laughs> See, now, if that was me, I'd, I would eat the thing straight away again. Yum, yum. Oh, my coffee is so hot. Hi, everybody. How are we doing today? I had breakfast in my backyard today. I mean, not in my backyard. I was at my on my patio, but, like, it's actually <laughs> pleasant out today. Yeah? It was so it nice to be able to go outside not and not... You know, roasted and today. not have your face melt. Yeah, brilliant. Good. Glad to hear that. <laughs> um, in other news, are you ready to die today? I'm. I was born ready. Okay. Quite honestly. Well um, done. I've been dreading this stream, man. I'm. I'm. I'm hoping that we just have a nice, fun time in a dungeon. What can go wrong? Right. I mean, it'll probably just be roses and skipping and frolicking. I know there's roses. Happy little you tunes. There are roses. By what yeah, type of roses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so we'll see. Super quickly, Ghost Keeper, thank you very much. Liara got Genesis. Dot, Liara, thank you so much. Ness, SRV, Monk, and Amy for a $25 donation. All in that beginning bit there. You lot are incredible. Thank you very much. You lot. You lot. You lot. Uh, okay, right, murder me. What? Murder you? Okay. No, not you, physically. Oh. I mean... Alright. <laughs> All right, we're going in. Pendle, thank you so much. Thritus, thank you. Coming to... Oh, I thought it said no peeing. No peeing. Well, that's also implied. Well, actually, I, you may be <laughs> peeing today. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> if, if things go well, you'll be peeing. Some peeing. Mild peeing. Some mild emergency pee will, will be okay. happening. Uh, we'll see. I mean, everyone's like super, super excited, but this is the part of the stream where I downplay it because this is literally the first time... It, it, it's not gonna work, right? What? It's gonna be broken. It's gonna be the most broken thing you've ever seen, folks. So... How did that happen? Get disappointed. <laughs> Scream Monk, thank you so much! Uh, Shout out, Mousy, thank you. Yeah, this is like pre-pre-pre-alpha test. Uh, what's, and... what's before alpha? That's... that's. There's nothing before alpha. No, right? So... Uh, things will be broken. It, it, if you're expecting, like, Zed to be squealing and running through the dungeon and dying over and over, it's probably not gonna happen. We'll see. I mean, might, but, we'll see. <laughs> but we'll see. That's what I hope happens. But uh, all right, goal. we've got a lot to do though. The first thing we're gonna do is probably get two Ravagers in to start. Okay. Cool. Good. To and good. then run a couple tests, and then. And by run a couple of tests, you mean try and get me killed, right? I mean, you run legit and try, right? And run a test. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be legit. Hey, you, if you I, legit I'm not try. And if it's today. too easy, just realize that it's too easy, and we learn and we modify. That's you know? my goal. If I'm not gonna die at all today, I, you hear it? Heard it here first. Probably not. not dying. Yeah. Not dying. All right. So, uh, come with me. If you want to live. <laughs> come with me if you want to die. <laughs> you get you get exclusive. Uh, I've had. Exclusive You've had exclusive activities. access forever. Yeah, I know. Whatever. Ha! Okay, so these Almost are the boys. <laughs> we got to get them out of there. Mm -hmm. There's two tracks here. I think this this one here is the one that goes up top. I use this with impulse to get the evokers in. Okay, so hopefully we can reuse this to. Uh, oh wait, this is only one wide outside. though. It'll it'll suffocate them the whole way through. So. Oh, that's true. Wide load. So we'll have to we'll have to diggy diggy that. What the what? Why is this glass? Oh right. This is fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> like uh, all right. So unfortunately, it stops there. So we've got to get them out of the minecart, right? Yes. There's that. Activate to rail them. Give them activate a the rail. And then the question is, do we activate rail them up on the roof and then encourage them to fall through somehow, or do we actually? Have the track go down into the dungeon. That does sound safer, but also more, more time consuming. And more rail intensive and you know, then we gotta like clean the nice. rail up while they're in there, right? That's true. Hey, yeah, no, we probably just wanna plop them in, plug up the lid. That's 
I've watched Jurassic Park enough to know that that's how you deal with <laughs> Never get in a cage animals. with the dinosaur, right? Never oh get gosh. in a cage or a kitchen either. It's bad. <laughs> Lord of the Undead, 20 gift subs. Thank you. Unbelievable. Pendeluff, thank you so much. Tinius, thank you for seven months. Guys, thank you so much. All right. Bits coming <sighs> all over the place. So I think we do the plop method. Well, here's the thing. Normally, if I was going to do the plop method, <laughs> I would make a little like dirt cage, you know, wall for them, activate the rail inside there, and then I would use double trap doors to push them, you know, to get them to encourage them to walk into the hole. Right. But they won't fit into double trap doors, so if we if we activate a rail them on the roof, how do we get them to fall through the roof? With pistons. Pistons, right. To let them fall in? I don't know. I mean, we. I don't mind being the guinea pigger today where I can be in the place, I can get killed loads even just before we test the thing out, you know? <laughs> I, I, I think I'm leaning toward we actually put the track in and activate okay. them in there. The and then, is, and then where do you want to put it in? Right, well, that's the big question. But And then you go in bait them away from the track so that I can clean up the track while you my subtle strategically flesh. locate them okay. elsewhere. Sure. Right, right? Yeah. I'm I think just, that, I've that, got to say yes. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's what we do here. Contract. Uh all right, so oh my gosh, all the all the subs. All the subs. I know man. Over here as 7, well. It's go going ahead. Nuts. You thank I will thank because the people being thank amazing. Thank you everybody. Go for it. okay, so where where did I last get to? Uh, um, Avocado Lover, thank you so much. Honeymore, Zamir, thank you very much. People, stop making the list move. Um, Smat, thank you very much. Monk, stop Endless the list Minds, <laughs> Inside Mind, thank you. Kira, Endless Minds again. Liara with the gift subs over here and Miss Mia. Mug, mug, mug. Thank you all very much. Do appreciate it. I'm going to die. Okay. Your turn. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting my rail box. There it oh, is. Oh, yeah, good, good, good. Um, <coughs> I'm gonna start looking around for a, a good zombie. Oh. Evelyn Rain, oh. Thritus, and Adesio. Guys, thank you. Edward Stoll, thank you guys so much. Huh. All the okay. subs. Okay. Uh, yeah, the big question too is where do we want to put them? Yeah. I think I want to put the first one in the Blackstone area. The Blackstone area, okay. It's kind of far, <laughs> but I don't know. What's Is that? that? The opposite corner. So it's not the nether area. Oh, it's the torture area. Torture it's zone. The, it's the part with the blackstone, yeah. Oh, between torture land and netherland. Gotcha. Right? No, I mean, torture land is part of... He's part of blackstone land. Yeah, basically, if there's blackstone walls, that's the blackstone area. Okay. Uh, so, where's a good drop zone? If we can drop them into the torture room, that would be great. Um, are you back over here? Where are you at? I'm in the place. <clears throat> I'm in the place. That's very... I'm in the dungeon. Oh. You, oh, you went uh, inside? I went inside. I broke in secretly. Okay. So I'm in the Blackstone land. Um... Man, this this is, is like the last time I'll be able to walk into this dungeon freely, and that is terrifying in itself. Mm -hmm. Because, like, what if there's just like, oh, I gotta do some work in the dungeon? No. No, no. Whoops. That, yeah, that's not an option blocks. anymore, you know? I need to build a thousand blocks in the thing again. Right. Uh -oh, now I gotta start putting up safety walls and stuff. Where are you at? I'm in the Blackstone Land. Can you make it to, uh, Happy Fun Town Room? Torture Land? Yeah. We don't say that because we get demonetized. Oh, um, tickle room. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Anita, thank you so there much. There is a feather. Ten gift subs, Anita. You're amazing. Thank you. I'm okay. I'm all turned around and I am lost. So, well done, and also help. That that makes me happy. Honestly, there you go. <laughs> Hi. <it>. Okay. <clears throat> so first, well done. Yes. <laughs> so the ceiling in here is is tall. Oh wait. Oh, did you see this? Do you see that up there? It's a bit dark. I, I don't see I don't like that at all. I I named armor stands make me always think people are up there and it's not. It's just You see the name tag it's forever. It's just stupid basically. things, yeah. Yeah. 
All right, um, I am going to, now that, I'm gonna switch my alerts because they're getting insane. Okay, you guys are amazing, I really appreciate it, but I'm turning them off <laughs> because they're going forever. Thank you so much. Uh, so, all right, it, it, I mean, in here, in here, this room here would be really easy probably because it's the ceiling isn't that high, but this is also a boring room that no one comes in. And I haven't I had a chance to decorate. It, it might wander out of this room by the time mm, we get it. To might. It might. Yes. We just want to get it into the dungeon. All right, right? let's like... let's do here then, I suppose. Okay, and we're thinking ceiling or floor. Well, I think right here, right? We could cover a hole in the ceiling, bring the track down at an angle, and activate right here. Beautiful. I love it. Solid plan. Best plan you've had all stream. Yep, it's the only one. <laughs> Uh, okay. But we gotta go three wide here so they don't get their bits all. It's alright, man. I know the I know the feeling. <laughs> okay, okay, this is I am I am so terrified, and it's not for your well-being. In case you were wondering, it's <laughs> it's for I was, the. I was holding out hope. It's for the future workability of this project. Ah, this oh, is the point of no return. Well, that's the thing, you know, we, we're hoping that any little hiccups we have today um, are fixable. I'm not uh, sure they will be. Yeah, sure. Do we want to, sure. B-Dubs did some magic. Do we want to go show that off first? Yeah, we can do. Okay. I always love a bit of magic. Let's go, let's go show the magic off. Uh, we can actually just go right inside there. So the place where I kept falling <clears> down <throat> for the last five minutes. Okay, go to the keep. Go to the, outside the throne room. This room, man. Can I can I cheat? Nope. Okay. <laughs> uh, where is it? The ha! You just blew past the magic, you magic ignorer! Oh, I was looking for the front door of the key. Oh, you're, you're such a magic ignorer. <laughs> That is blue. He's <laughs> just like, where's the throne room? <laughs> hey, you told me to go to the. To the I know, room. I know. I one to one track line. So this is like a. This is like where they they like brew it, like making. Wine. He made like a winery, yeah, and I think this yeah, is man, like a a wine press or something. And he's got all the things and the wheat, and I and I think this is like yeah, this is like the berries where you mash them up this or the something. Sugar. And I don't know it's what the wheat's for. Sugar. I'm guessing wheat is needed. To Maybe to make beer, thin. to make mead. Oh, yeah, yeah, pot. yeah. It's like your barley. I get it. Anyway, yeah. she did a fantastic job. It is a little bit on a toy. You know, I, I think I think <laughs> this. Ravagers are literally two blocks wide. Oh, so this little lip So here. that they can kind of bounce up on this, I think. I've already made some changes. I had to raise the ceiling here a little bit, but... Uh, here we go. This is there's more. He he's done decorations. He's put up all the paintings, all the Beautiful. corner stuff. Very nice. All the all the castle-y paintings everywhere. Is this a statue. This is a statue, right? What? Holding like a staff with a lantern. It's like a ghostly looking statue. Right? I think it is actually, and that's amazing, <laughs> because I never would have seen that in a million years. That's what it is. That's amazing. Be dubs, be B dubs like that. Yeah, yeah, we're like, yeah, that. We're like that. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he did a little bit of a little bit of magic in here. Ooh, oh, did he? <clears throat> did he make my cell nicer? Nope. No, you're still it. hating life. Well, afterlife. <laughs> uh, he did this corridor here, which again is a little bit tight. I might have to open this up a little bit. I'm thinking, like, honestly, the torches, that all needs to come out so that it's not so. Because the Ravagers are just going to be like, oh, oh, I can't fit my girth through the... Oh, just go, Please hold! Yeah. Just lodge and I can stand yeah. here and wiggle my butt around. Yeah, and then he did this. He made like a little corner chapel here, which is amazing. Ooh. With little candles and flowers and everything. Yeah, I like it. Praise the corner. Yes. <laughs> little sandal. Look at the roof. The roof is nice. Yeah, that is a lovely Very room. good. Beatups is so good at building, man. He is. He is. If, if he, if I could have had him do this whole dungeon, it would have been amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I put some more hermits up on these here. The, some of the hermits that were missing. Very nice. Very nice. Kira, thank you so much for the 1091. 
That's not how long it takes Zed to die. I'm hoping he dies very quickly. I, I hope it's too hard and we have to tone it down. That's much easier than... Do you, do you know how many Ravagers you've got total? Eight. So we can only go up to eight. <laughs> We're hoping that... I, I hope we don't have to put in eight Ravagers. Yeah. Let's just say that. Uh, What else? Oh, oh, oh. He also surprised me and did a bonus room. Check it out. You didn't tell me there was lava down in that little <clears> hole down there. <laughs> He did, he did like a little okay. barracks Ooh, up here. This one's finally done. Yeah, I was going to make a kitchen out of it. And he's like, I got a barracks. Sleepy, sleepy idea. Bunk beds. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing. It's amazing. So cool. B-dubs. Good stuff, man. Well done. Well yeah. done. Yes. Alrighty. So. Oh, he put little bushes up here. Little vines. Little so so the keep is actually like pretty amazing now. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. Are you going to keep it? I'm going to keep the keep. Don't punch me for bad jokes, man. I mean, <laughs> you know. Uh, I already felt all right. Back to uh, back to the skadoodler up up over here. Uh, okay. No, I don't know how to get there. <laughs> cheating time. Uh, cheating is actually terrifying. I'm too scared to cheat. I yeah. don't trust my, my ball throwing skills. <laughs> it was all a right. We've got, a, we've got a lot to do. We've got to get two Ravagers, and I'm hoping, like, in the next half hour so that we have plenty of time to test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although, we, there'll be plenty of testing time. Don't you worry. We'll, we'll make sure. So, you have plenty of death time. Okay. Did you easily make it back here because you knew where you were going or because you were following me? Second one. Yeah. <laughs> see? Maybe a little bit of the first one. I kind of... I roughly know... Uh, the cardinal uh, direction I need to head to get somewhere, but, I, you know. Stupid blocks. Little journeys in between, I'm not entirely Hey, how are you sure doing on there. redstone these days? How am I doing? Yeah. Like, actual dust, are we talking? Like, the like actual components? dust, yeah. I think I've got, like, three stacks of blocks. Hmm. Might need to steal some. That is okay, but Because I've used quite a bit of this stuff in here, and I'm literally, like, out. Yeah, man. No, I, I think I've I think I've got like three stacks. Spe like spare, okay, basically. Power. I've probably got more elsewhere. There's the magic activator rail. Dot dot dash. Thank you. <laughs> I just lost my job as an ice cream tester. I couldn't do Sundays. <laughs> good one. That is good. Right, I feel I feel like I'm a potted plant over here. What can I do to help? Uh, so you saw where the track comes in over there, right? How about this? Go the original track that went up inside the walls over there. Make mm -hmm. that three wide. Okay. Off I go. Wide load coming through. And then we'll bring the Ravager in. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a little uh, at the end there. So <laughs> the truth hurts, man. <laughs> Truth hurts. Okay, oh, I need to go under under this bit of redstone. Okay. Excellent. Right, I, I am genuinely... Oh, and I found it. I found it. I'm an excellent finder. You're an excellent finder for Cater. Yep. Yep. Okay, making the walls three wide. Uh, oh, by the way, fuck with the gift sub bomb. Muggity, muggity, mug. Thank you very much, man. I do appreciate that. And $20 from Ildor. Ildor. Thank you very much. Ildor. Ildor. That's, he sounds like a leader of <laughs> something in Lord of the Rings. It sounds excellent, especially when you say it like I did. Il Dole. What yes. Wheel of Misfortune yesterday, Tagger? That's we suggested that last stream. Pe people be watching that, I know. Like Monty cooking, I've been getting yeah. comments and stuff. Good, I'm glad. And everyone's been agreeing that it was a, a, a barrel of laughs. So, I tell you what, man, one day, you and I just need to restream that and just, like, comment and just And just live comment on it. Yeah, honestly, I would love yeah. to do that. Just so everyone That'd can watch it again, idea. yeah. Yeah. That is a really good idea. Uh, okay, so, all right, I, I'm a noob. Activator rails now. Minecart goes over activator rail. Minecart Just does it, wiggle wiggle. It powered. It's already powered, right? Okay. Yeah, I think it being powered makes it wiggle wiggle. It does a little so wiggle wiggle action, and then powered. the Ravager will shake his bits it, out. Then. All right, we're good. Yeah. Oh, you're right. I, sh I could test it. Well, we will test it once we get the track in. Lighting everything up. I know we're on a Mushroom Island, but I want to be able to see. Thank you. Uh, do we want to cut over? Oh, 
over the center. Let's see. Yeah, we can Perfect. go straight okay. here. Okay. Perfect. Down. Beautiful. Ooh, it's going to get a bit tight here. You might need to let them just take a little bit of a beating. What? Just briefly. Why Why is it? For like a block or two. Because there's like some of your jungle building is like a block. It's only for like four blocks. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <sighs> and hey, fine. hurting them a little bit will just make them more angry. So there'll be... <laughs> more ravagery, right? Ravagerous. <laughs> Ra Ravagerous. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. A <laughs> it's a word. Don't look it up. It's yeah, fine. just trust us on that one. Yeah. How do I... Oh, I guess okay. I could change yeah. the trap yeah. position. But that would be smart. Can't possibly do that. Ravenous. That would be a word that we could have used there. Yeah, but... Mm. That sounds like... Hungry. That sounds like... You say, <laughs> yeah, that sounds like... Way I'm too ravenous. Correct and They're stuff. ravages. Ravagerness and stuff. <laughs> Alright, I need... I need some food. For my face. Genius... Spelled very weirdly. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, okay uh, I don't know. I already lost my rail box, so that's a thing. You, it's it's you put it. It's a black rail box, and you put it in, down in a black, black room. Floor, I know. I know. In a black room. So good luck. Camouflage. Dot dot dash. Not sure why I was sub over here as well. Muggity muggity mug. Thank you very much. Muggity muggity mug. That was an official muggity one right there, yeah. It was. Okay, great. So leaves, they won't mind a bit of leaf in their lungs, will they? No, leaves do not hurt. It's like a salad. Because <laughs> that's what ravagers want. Nobody ever choked on a salad. Okay, beautiful. I've made the best rail line ever. It's it's gorgeous, and I love Aha. it. Taking this with me. If I could break it, here we go. Okay, so yeah, we got we got to move here. I wanna I wanna get to the test and um, can start moving. continuing that rail straight over to me if you can. Oh, I beat you to it, man. I'm already on my way. Don't you worry. Nest now with the five sub gift sub bomb sub. Um, bomb. Yeah, when you say leaves, are they important leaves? Cause. When you say important leaves, what do you mean? Huh. Huh. Leaves that were uh, yes, aesthetically decorative. pleasing, because the Ravagers... I don't know if they'll still what? break them in minecarts or not, but they'll probably still break them. No, because they have to do the head thrust to break them, don't they? Mm, I think as they're walking, it's just like, I break leaves, it's what I do, and they sing that little happy tune as they... <laughs> Are you a Ravager? <laughs> as they, as they exactly like it. go on their Ravagery ways. Ravager... Rav Ravagers. <laughs> yeah, rav Ravagerinating. Um, well, they're right here. You'll see them in a minute. I think you could get away with them having be broken a little bit. Bugman. Thank you so much. $25. Release the Ravagers! I'm so nervous. <laughs> you, you're nervous. I see. I want to both get killed and not get killed. I'm torn, man. I want the this more to be you to die to today, good. the happier I am. All right. Let's just put it yeah, that way. When isn't that true, though? You know. True, but even more so today. Extra. Okay. All right. How tall is a ravager's forehead? Sounds like a. Weird how tall color. are ravagers? You mean? Yeah, how tall are they? Two and a quarter blocks, okay. but they need three blocks clearance to path through it. It's three blocks side to side, but height-wise they need nope. three blocks as two well. two blocks. When we say high, that means tall. Yes, <laughs> that's how words work. That's how words <laughs> fortificate, okay. yeah. So I've made a three-wide tunnel, and I've made a three-high tunnel. That's plenty. Three by three is good, yes. Three by three But is... they're in a minecart anyway, so it really doesn't matter, because they're not pathing through it. True. Um, they're going to take all sorts of punchy, punchy damage right here. I was trying to like, yeah, I was back there. I was making the ceiling a bit higher. But look, these are the leaves I was talking about. Uh, they'll be fine. Oh, those. Um, yeah, right. we'll see. We'll learn if it's the head nuzzle that they Science do. Science will happen, right? Right. It's just... Right. Uh, I don't think they're any taller when they're inside the minecart. They could go through this. Okay, I think we're good. Ooh, I hear the growling. <clears throat> mm, scary. Let's uh, let's 
Let's test this. With a human? With a human face. Okay. I have a human face. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my. I got so many bits on me. It's just... Well, look. Power all the, the rails. All the bits. Put, Go away. What rails? Oh, I, I unpowered Go some, away. did I? Go away. I levers. Go away. I don't care about any of this. Go away. Okay. Jam. And... All right. Is your face in? Uh, no, I don't have a minecart. Jam. I was just making sure that everything was powered. It's all good. Okay. Let's go test. I'm even nervous about getting in a minecart near these guys. <laughs> <laughs> One wrong move and I'm 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 dinner. Yeah. Chompy bits. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Put, I'm mean, gonna put me in this slot, surely. This is where all the ravages are. Uh, yeah, that's also... I think if I go in there, I get my face eaten. Let's see. You want... Oh, okay, there he goes! Alright, get in. Oh, wait, you going in? Get... Oh, you can go if you want. You don't see nothing. Rrr. Leaves! Nope, I didn't touch him. We have proof. Ravages do not break leaves. Excellent. <laughs> what right. Is, what sounds not work? What are the sounds? What? Are rails considered friendly creatures? Did you get activated? I'm out. I got in spat out. Inv involuntarily out, right? Involuntarily spat out. How dare you, minecart? I was busy. Okay. Then we're good here, right? I think it's ravagey time. It's, it's oh god. I'm so scared. Okay, uh, <laughs> should we pre block up a gate here? Like, once they're in here, what's our goal? Probably uh, come over here and shoot them up here, and then. Do we want to get one in and then lure it to the other place in the dungeon that we want to leave it? Oh, as opposed to moving the track to a new location? It might be kind of slow, but kind of quicker in other ways. <laughs> and more fun. And more fun. For so... people other than you. Uh, <laughs> Nick, I was trying to lump both of us in. Okay, all right, let's do that. So we'll get one in. All right, chase I like it that. To where we want to go. Where, where do you want this one to go? I want this one to stay in this area. But if we're going to bring another one in this area, yeah, we we want to put the other one in first. Take it far away. Then yeah, I don't know. Second one uh, in and leave it here. Bring it over to the. I, I don't know. I mean, you're going to be running, and you're going to be like, well, I know it's over there. So you're going to have you're going to have you... pre knowledge of. You but that's fine. Maybe shut my eyes and I'll spin around. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, let's bring it over to, I guess, the nether. I don't know. doesn't really matter. Okay. Fine, I, cool. I, something tells me that two is going to be woefully inadequate and we're going to have to bring I, it I rec I'm thinking four is even maybe too small of a number, but we'll see. I, I never maybe, even questioned whether put... four would be enough. Are you serious? Are we going to have to put like six ravagers in here? That's insane. Uh I, I think, I reckon... Maybe we just put three four. in right from the get-go. From the I get. Think so. From the get. We, we both think the similar thought. Where am I? Okay. Okay. So then maybe we just bring one to each quadrant right now. One to each quadrant. What's up, Delta? How you doing? And there's, and there's four quadrants, right? Yep. If I know And there's word. four okay. backup Ravagers. Okay, so... Uh, uh, Ravager number one, his track is... We gotta always make sure these little things... I think they're all good. So he's gonna come over here, he's gonna swoop. Yeah. Um, he's he gonna hopefully... There, we can swoop him out. Let me... But he won't. He won't swoop in there. Let me just double check that. And that. And that. And that. And that. And that. Okay, now they all got their own little personalized boostificator. Look at them go. And Nick, the mechanic, when did that $10 come in? Mug, mug, mug. Thank you very much. <laughs> fuck, mug, mug. Fuck, mug, mug. <laughs> $50 from Shoe Me What? Thank you. I just put my mug down. Mug People be mug. crazy. Thank Benny you. Joseph over here. Thank you. Benny Joseph, I appreciate that so much. Shoe Me, I think you want them to. See Shoe Me over here as well, too. Me. Thank you for the hours of entertainment. $50. Holy crap. I like how all of them are called The Beast. That, 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 it's <laughs> one. <laughs> Unified Collecting. force. Like, let's put it this way: if I could have one in here and it was challenging, that would be ideal. You should have you should have called them all the beasts. Just so it's like what? There's one of them, but there's they're plural. Like, I see. Fair like enough. Some kind of collective hive. Mind. Right. They they are whatever. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, are we ready to pull the yes. button? Oh, I'm so terrified. Dude, this is like... Uh, this is a big moment. These are not easy to get, right? It took hours to get these games. Uh, there, there's the guy that helped us do it, too. Impulse. All right. Are we ready? <laughs> Sounds like you're blaming him. Yes, I'm ready. If you are, hit the button, man. And Point of no return. Are. Live Ravagers in the dungeon. Oh, they're oh, taking damage! Because you're railed! I said that he might eat a bit of Alley cat, wool. thank you so much! Alright, let's go see. Let's go see. I'm running. I'm running. I'm scared. What do we think? I think he's gonna what be in there. Free? What if it's free in the, in the redstone below somehow? Where's the track? Where's the track? There he is! Is it in there? Oh no, I forgot! He can just climb right out! Oh no! What? what? Oh no! Loose Ravager on the roof! Ravager on the roof! Oh Hang my on. gosh, we're so dumb. Don't go over there! Oh, he ravaged me! Stop being ravaged! Oh I'm no! Flying. I tried to break a little bit of stuff, but I, I didn't forgot! Get time. Okay. Oh. Can he still go up? Is he out? He could still. I think he could still go up. I broke one block. Switching, then, then switching the camera count. Hang on. Man, that was terrifying. Attempting to switch <laughs> the camera count. That was so scary. Why does this never work? I did this before stream and it worked fine. Uh, oh, he's right on the lip there. Oh no, this is bad. Hang on, hang on. Do you want me to go into the dungeon here and go meet him? It's what we were gonna side. do anyways. Yeah. Okay, What's hold a good on. Way I, gotta, to get in. I really want to get this. Okay. Okay. I'm in. Hold on. Uh, eh? Ah! I'm that terrified, okay. man. I'm on the that camera count moved, now. That thing moved quicker than I anticipated. <sighs> Alright. Oh, he's on the roof. We're such idiots. Hang on, I'll lure him. He, he's wandering. Okay. Do you know how to get over there? No. <laughs> On, okay, you're going through the forest. the forest. I can turn left. Turn left at, at Albuquerque and get into, yeah. Tickle room. Um, yep, 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 yep. Do I go this way? Yep. And, okay, so he's on the roof. You're going to have to go up the steps. What's <laughs> your What's your plan here? Um, Run. Okay. Then run some more. Okay. Where is he? He's right there. So pop up and he's aggro. Yeah. He's aggro. Go, 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 go! <laughs> okay. you see? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he can't. Okay. What's happening? Why isn't he going down? He's he trying. Sees me, he, he sees you, but then he's just like, oh, because he can't fit down. Break all the, oh. break all the bits. I don't know how far he'll drop. Yeah, he can't fit. I don't know if he's going to drop that far. He will! He dropped. He will. Okay. He took damage. Okay. All right. Oh, flee. He's on me. Flee. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrifying. Yeah. Got armor on. Okay. It's terrifying, <laughs> and you have armor on. Okay. I I think I lost him. Oh. All right. He's in the pond area. Oh, he can stay in the pond. I'm leaving. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> he's 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 ponding up. He's just wandering. I don't know where he's. He's going for a swim. Where's a good place for me to get out? <laughs> you. You literally soiled yourself there. That was <laughs> twice. <laughs> I okay. really soiled myself. Oh man! All right, so yeah, he's in there. So you, we can go back. We we could we could probably lock him off in there right now if we want. Ah, uh, sure. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll go do that. Mm-hmm. Go do that. I'm scared to break that block. I'm trying to get out of this place. Where did? Oh, the front door's open. Okay. Where, where? I'm so lost. Where are the <laughs> stairs at? Wait, how do I? God, this place is a maze. Who made this place? <laughs> okay, here it is. Very literally is. Okay, good. Break through there. Okay, <gasps> give me all this. I'm just calming down now. Mas, can we get a link I've, for uh, I've got to stream go squads? Into this place with four of these things. No, man, no. Okay, he's locked off there. I quit. Highly encourage you guys to watch the uh, stream squads link. Boom. Oh. 
<sighs> okay. Just a bit of relaxing between stuff. Thanks for the bits, everyone. I see them flying in. Love you all. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, dear. Ravager number one is officially locked in the uh, in the pond area for now. Okay, good. Good. Oh, good. Eck, thank you, you so much. Do you want me to hit the switch for the next one? No, no, the up. track's got all busted up, remember. Oh, I busted the track. Okay, yeah. you fix the track, and then... Um... Hang on, I gotta walk all the way back. It's... Uh, so we've got to let them go down, and then get ready to bust the stairs out before they climb back up. Can you make the rail not stare down, but like drop down yes, to a lower yes. rail? Yeah, come on over here. We're gonna we're gonna be a bit while we okay. re-engineer re a skate. Using brains there. Okay. <clears throat> I like that. I like the I like the drop technique. Yes. Ha! We got this. We got this. <laughs> All right. Whereabouts? Uh, there? do you have glass on you? Or a transparent block. I do not. I have an ender chest. That counts. For nothing. Why do you need that? Uh, because I'd like to push them against this and have them fall down, but if, if we use stone, they're gonna... If you just use rails all the way under there, though, they'll just fall down and land on the bottom rail. Yeah, just Will go they off, keep like, really going, cool... though? Um, they go a little bit, but not... Not to the activator rail, that's for sure. And that's what I'm trying to wonder, is like... You could like drop this further back, I think. You could be like this, and then have rail basically under that whole room. That'd be fine. Clearance will be perfect. What, what I don't want them to do is fall down, land on this, and then not have momentum or be near a powered rail and just stop here. Have you got a second power rail? I do, but I mean, you don't want to make up Again... Put it, on the other, put it on the other side? If they're not... So what I was trying to do is if they hit something and they fell straight down, then I could have them land like on you know this so i guarantee they're gonna hit here power and guaranteed to go can't you make the whole thing down their power rail so wherever they land they're chugging i guess they'll keep the momentum in the direction they're already going right i think they will and worst case they just stop and then we can <laughs> and then we're uh, yeah and then we're then there's a problem <laughs> <laughs> yeah that is, that's the bad part is that <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, you could have another activate rail on the on the back end of it, just in case they did go backwards for some reason. Dot, uh, thank you so much, dot, dot, dash. Okay, go. so, probably go one more there. Yeah, that guarantees. Okay, now they're guaranteed they're going to fall off guarantees. there. Guarantees. <laughs> guarantees, what could possibly go wrong? Yeah. Okay. Ah. Uh, all right. Where, where did you lock this first one in, by the way? Over here somewhere. Uh, in the river area. Or the, is, the, is that the one the, that's the lake. With the starry sky? He's in the lake. Kind of, yeah. He's in the lake. Okay, that area. All right, so cool. this okay. one we're going to take over to the keep. This is a longer... Are we sure we don't want to just drop him over there? Because this rail goes right by the keep. Sure. Yeah, whatever's whatever's easiest. I think that's, I think that's easier than trying to move him all through the dungeon. I mean... Okay, it'll be the other places we might need to do the running technique. Flush foot, thank you. <laughs> right. But we'll see. Yeah, sure. Where can we drop this one? Uh, let's see. Where's a good spot? Maybe this main... It's pretty narrow there. Uh, oh, the throne room. Yes. It could it's... go in the wall. Oh, no, there's pictures behind It's the wall. big and throny over here. Big and throny. Seeing how long you'll randomly follow me for. <laughs> Forever. An eternity. Uh, let's see. You could bring him in through the wall here. It was quite easy. Right. You'd have to get rid of them trap doors a bit, but that's easy enough. Maisie, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, that's actually good right there. I like that. It's all solid. Uh, I don't have another activator rail. Let me go get the other activator rail. You probably should get more than one. <laughs> <clears throat> well, but then I have okay. to actually, like, craft another one, and that's complicated. That's true. Fair enough. That means knowing recipes. Right. Which we don't do. We've only been playing this game for eight, Right, nine come years. on. Right. <laughs> Right. 
All the activation right there. Activate. You guys have robot wars in America. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean a TV program, not like... <laughs> <laughs> we're not actively not... being taken over by the, the hive mind well, yet. Not, yeah. not that we know, yes. <laughs> cool. Uh... Huh, I've tricked myself. Okay, and... Rail, rail, rail. I don't have many other rails. Whee! These lucky ravagers, they're getting like a theme park ride before their eternal entrapment in this dungeon. Although, honestly, they own the place. They're having a whale of a time. They now. do literally own the place, yeah. They, they love it. They're getting to eat people. Okay, and... they're going to take some damage here. Can I talk? I think I got more of that. Whatever. One tick is fine. I ran out of uh, yeah, rails along here. Okay. Yeah, have you, have you been doing a drop again? No, but because this is a one-time thing, it doesn't matter. We don't need the drop. Mm, We're not going to run okay. a second Ravager over here. It's still going to empty itself and then maybe climb up these stairs. We'll be right behind that... it to chop it off. How about that? What oh, could go sorry, wrong? You'll be right behind it. I will be okay. right behind it, yes. Sure. Momo, thank you so much. <laughs> uh, I need levers. Do you have a power source or anything like that? Me. I am a power source. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> just, trying to think dream. of a witty comment about just sit your butt on the rail and <laughs> be useful, but uh, okay, this is an easy one then, right? He's gonna take, take a little damage right there, but I'm okay with that. He's gonna come down here. Did we power the? We didn't power the activator. We didn't. We didn't. Uh, you got any more of those fancy lever things? Uh, what do you think I am, a multi lever guy? Yeah, yeah I actually I do. Out of here. Lever up. I, I was I was the one and only, literally. Oh, seriously? Um, okay. Well, we'll and I only have a silk touch pick, so I am unable Same. to cobble. Uh, uh, okay, let me is there find. any cobble in the walls? Is there any cobble in the walls? <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> uh, there's got Ow! Poisoned. Da, 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 da. I really want levers, though. Do I not have cobble anywhere? Oh, oh no, you feel good. Gobble. Gobble, gobble, gobble. I knew you were going to do that. See? I'm, I've, I've known you too long. Yeah, that's it. All right, we're done. <laughs> that's it. Can't I've stream anymore. I've everything I can about the Nango. <laughs> that's it. That's it. I'm nearly out of coffee, man. It's sad. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah. Oh, well, the levers I could borrow down here that you're not using anymore. Okay. We've levered. Lever. Osworth, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Are you a believer? Because I am. You are literally standing on stone. Yes. And I'm literally holding a silk touch pick, which we covered. I'm able right. to get the cobble out of it. Can't uh, see the cobble for the trees. Okay. The Where are goes. you at? I'm face-to-face I'm -face with a ravager. Okay. Uh, let's see then, I think. <laughs> Where do I want to stand? Where do I want to stand for maximum squealage? Let's see here. Uh, uh, uh. You just get ready to break that staircase. Okay. I will do this, and then I will do that. Okay. That is your sole job. I have one job. <laughs> okay, You're go. Ready. Fire away. The beast is coming. <laughs> no, wait. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. No, 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 no. I don't think so. Uh-oh. There's no stopping okay. this Okay, he's good. He don't even know. Oh, he's he's, he's very loose in there. Oh, he is. Extra he's loose. putting the other four in fun. <laughs> um, oh, I can't restore the picture frame now easily. <laughs> Look at you dangling your bits. He's going to come over there and... He better not. He's he going to come over dangle, and give you a free doink. <laughs> dangle bit check. Uh, wait, what? Did you take something off the wall? I did, and I'm not putting Oh, there's the doink! <laughs> He's there. He was checking out my artwork. Okay. Oh, well, I've made a slight error there, but you can fix that later. Okay. I'm missing one block. So, oh, hold on. What was that about the picture there? Is it... 
the frame is if you look on your camera cam you'll see <laughs> it's rotated around the wrong way um it's modern it's modern art <laughs> It's all. I panicked, all right? I panicked. Oh, now we gotta go in there. Okay. Anyway, we gotta go in there anyways to clean up some of the. We gotta get the activator rail. Holy yeah. cow. There's a lot of cleaning. Oh my gosh. Sleepy cat. Sleepy. First of all, I love your name. Sleepy. That is insane. $200. Thank you so much. 200? Holy moly. Congratulations on finishing Decked Out. I haven't missed a stream. I've been thoroughly addicted to this content for the past weeks. It's been rough in the world. Tell me about it. But you bring so much inspiration and positivity during these times. Thank you. I, I can't even thank you. Thank you. I mean, just... Blur. <laughs> That's too much. Thank you so much. I'm telling you right now, Blur is an incredibly good compliment <laughs> so <laughs> unbelievable okay so do we want to go in there and we got to get that activator rail back and we got to straighten up the picture frame <laughs> yes um sure do one of us want to lure and the other one be the i mean i got the spectator account so i think it's only makes sense right if i spectate Whilst I run in and do everything. Sure. I, I think that's the general game plan, yeah. In I go. Hang on. Ouch. Why does OBS hate me? I've just turned off both. Oh, wait. That one off. Where can I get into this place, man? Is there still a... Okay. I'm in spectator. Okay, he is in the hallway. In, in the backside hallway, so where are you at? Okay, yeah, you're... Okay, hi. I'm trying to find a way in. Uh... <laughs> uh, best way in, get up on top of the roof if you can. That's already going to be tough in itself. Yep, but there's a lot more options for that. Um, is there a place around here to get up? Uh, yes. there was Found where you it. were. There's one right here, yep, okay. Go over to the entrance now. Okay. Stop. Uh, there's a hole in the... Like, if you're coming in the entrance and you turn left immediately. In the entrance. Turn left. Come to the entrance. Okay, that, was, that, that redstone is the entrance. Pretend you're coming in and turn left immediately. Okay. Uh, so okay. Here. I fell almost. No. Okay. <laughs> I almost fell. No, you're going into the redstone. Come into the dungeon. Okay. Uh, le no, le left. Left. <laughs> Come into the dungeon and turn left. So this is in the dungeon. Yes. And turn left. Yes. Now turn right. Right there. I found a hole. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Don't go that way. Come back. Oh, there's a ravager in here. I just realized. There's two ravagers in there. <laughs> oh no! Hang on. Um. I'm, I'm your okay. eyes. Well, that doesn't make me feel any no. better. No. All right. Um, you know how to get to. I wish you were my face. <laughs> Because <laughs> that's what's going to get ravaged. Oh, okay, turn right. Okay. I love that you can hear the ravager in here. Okay, he's still in the same spot, and I, I'm sad that I think he's actually stuck because he's floating now. Um, so, if you come in the chapel, where are you at? I'm here. Oh, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Come back and go to the chapel I'm side. In the winery. Okay, ch the chapel through the back of the throne. That's the library. That's the library. <laughs> to the right. Okay. Chapel. Now go into the throne oh. room, but block to the right. Oh, block, block, block! Oh, you didn't block. Why would you not? Okay, you blocked there. I, I guess that's, that's adequate. I thought you were going to pre-block the other hallway. Okay, you're safe. <sighs> you're safe to clean all this up now. <laughs> uh, okay. Terrifying, man. Definitely got the fear factor right. Good, good. <laughs> Asher Williams, thank you so much. Terrified. Okay, picture frame neat, rails cleaned. Okay. P pants pooped. <laughs> uh, can you, if you can, without blo unblocking that, can you block the hallway to the right? Hey, take your love. 
Blocks. There you go. Now, now break that. Let yourself out. Yeah, for those just showing up now, uh, B Dubs did some work in here. We showed it off already. You guys will get to passively see the magic he did. Uh, okay, so now he's, he's you could going nuts. Yeah, you can. <laughs> oh, 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 he's so angry. He's, he's tasty bits. <laughs> so okay. now you want to break those three and then skadoodle out. No, I don't. No, I don't. Um, I don't know the best skadoodling. That, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. I'm worried about hurting him. <laughs> hurting him? <laughs> I'm not worried about yeah. hurting him. Okay. Break the I'm middle one last. Way, Break the middle one last. Give me directions, yeah? Okay. You ready for directions? Yeah, uh-huh. I've got a lot of stuff on me. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay, don't look back. <laughs> I love Never it. look back. Okay. Yeah, right, he I'm stopped. You're, you're clear. You're clear. Okay. Okay. See, that's oh, the problem, not, is the beasts don't... Once they lose line of sight, they're just kind of like, Meh! I think I might okay. be done! How do I get out of here, please? Alright, <laughs> uh, right there you can shoot out the ceiling, yep. Okay. Uh, and that's why Clank is important. Absolutely, Bugman. In theory, that's why Clank is important. Alright, switching back over to... Can I send you my underwear bill, please, after this? Because... I'm gonna be going through a few pairs. Man. Okay, we're done. Oh, yes, I hate you and everything about you. Why do you not let me switch? Do it. Okay. Switch. There we go. Switched. Okay. Uh, all right. Are we going straight for four or what? Yes. Yes. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's send so this one though? back into the Blackstone area and then we'll just navigate them over to the. Uh... Okay. Track is straightened. Let me, yeah, fix that track to go back to, uh, oh, we gotta get yeah. the activator. You got the activator? I do. Come and get it. I'm with, I was with you, I was right next to okay. you. Okay. Nope! Falling! <laughs> I was three blocks away. <laughs> okay. Hi, uh, activate. Uh, have all of that, because I don't know the, the logic behind it. I don't know the logic of the activator rail. I'm just the, the meat shield of the day. Uh, why am I coming over here? I thought there was something That's to clean up question. over there. You already fixed up the straight part over there, right? I did. I did. Okay. Excellent. Activate rail. Ah. Okay, that should be good then, right? Uh, it will fall down. Do you know where we're running away this one to? Uh, yeah. We're going to take him to the nether. Are we, which both of us, am I doing it again? I'll, I'll do this one if you want. Maybe, yes. <laughs> okay, um... If the, I'm, I'm nervous this one's not gonna get correctly activated or whatever. <clears throat> so in fact, how about this? I'll just stand in the hole. You pull the lever and I'll be ready to go. You just be ready to run and I can I'll be ready to take up. him there, yeah. I can clean up the activator rail and stuff. Yep, I need blocks okay, on the bar. Sounds, sounds good. You're like, yeah, I like uh, the part where I just watch you die. Exactly. I mean, you saying this like that, I'm not going to be able to save you, you realize. I'm not asking you to you save you. you die me. and lose all your stuff, like, I don't know, <laughs> time's ticking. Yep. Um, okay. That's what I'm wondering is, should we put on, like, backup soil pants or something? Like, I mean, maybe. So if we die, I mean, I've got a lot. Yeah, let me let me clean up my bits here just because I think it might be accidents a may happen. Accidents will happen. And I don't want to lose everything I got on me here. Um, I got coins. I got keys. I got to put those away. Coins and keys. My goodness. Whew. It's getting hot today. What's going on? I'm going to put some compasses in there because those are future things. Hopefully, I don't need to drop my there. stuff off because I'm not in the danger zone yet. I'm in safe, safe mode. So I should be fine. Although I could jump some of this off. Okay, let me go put some of this stuff back. Oh, I haven't got any shulkers on me. Never mind. Good. Never mind. Ow! Ow! Man, these things. Okay, I, I want to get to doing a real run here. It's already been an hour. Ugh. That's okay, man. Once this fourth one's in, it's it's pretty much go. This is this right? is the third one, right? 
Yes, that's how numbers work. <laughs> Three comes after two. Three comes after two. Uh, shoot. Um, oh, I shoot. ran out of coffee, didn't I? Darn it. Oh. All right, are you ready? Ready to send a beast your way. Ah, <sighs> terrifying. Get your running shoes on. We could test it with three, but we'll see. We're, def we're definitely going three. I am. Uh, trouble this one causes it. I am ready. Is he sending? Okay. Is he being sent? Boom! The beast is on its way, and I'm right behind it. Tell me when he's about to drop. Okay. Oh, uh, he got away from me. He's. he's You're gonna come and clean the rails up, right? Yes. Yes, I am. Three, two, one, drop. Probably. I don't know. Here it comes. Be surprised. Activated. He's, he's out. out. He's out. I heard. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Look at him. He's breakdancing. Yeah, right so he, up, yeah, so he's not. Oh, never mind. He's fine. He's fine at navigating. Oh, no. Oh. I'm cleaning all of these rails up. Yes, yes, yes. Sure, sure. I need to put this on okay. the bar. So we're not putting a fourth one in. I don't know. Okay, he's. Maybe he's fine. Maybe, just maybe he's fine over there. Oh, no. No? I think he's fine. I think he's fine. You know, where he is. Okay, are, are you fine? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Oops. Um, right, every, the room is clear. The room is clean. Oh, why is this not working? Get out of there. This stupid trap is never works. It always gets busted. Where is he? Can I just say, man, I'm having a ton of fun doing this. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> so, you know, even if the game's a flop, Decked Out has been a five-star success in my mind. <laughs> okay, that's three Ravagers in there. Ugh, oh, Ark and Wolfshade. Are you Thank are you, you so much, my friend. Oh, you are? Five gift subs, thank you. You're amazing, man. Uh, okay. Are we... Do we want to test with three, or do we want to just go straight for the for the whammy? I think we go for the... Well, no, because then it, it, well, if you tested with four, and it was too hard, you're going to have to kill one. Yes. So we test with three. And it's going to be too three. easy. You think? I do think, but... Then, then let's get a fourth in, man. It's fine. We don't have to kill it. We can... We can we'll be able to block it in and drop it through the floor and then run it back to a safety it is somewhere. easier we'll to add with three yeah let, let's test with three the first run though i'm pretty sure you're just gonna like go in get the thing but let, let's 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 do that so come out to let's the entrance Whew, okay it's about, <clears throat> it's about to be go time i love that it's definitely stressful it's stressful man i'm stressing hard um where's the entrance again <laughs> Oh, the door's broken. I didn't know that. Weird. Uh, Do you know how to get back? Oh, we still got the guy trapped by the lake. Yeah, we got to fix him. How did you do that? Oh, you just busted through. Okay, that's cool. I made I made holes. <laughs> I made all. All right, let me go. I got to go free the guy by the lake. What guy by what lake? The the guy in the lake. Remember the guy? We we locked him in there. Oh, I thought you meant a real lake. Confused me. Oh, what? <laughs> I was like, what lake? I, I no thought you meant up on the surface. Now. I was very confused. Uh, how do I even get in here? Which room is which? This is the... Oh, we got to cover this back up too. Oh, there's guys loose in here. I keep forgetting. This is terrifying. It just brings a whole new sense of doom, terrifying things. Oh, he's right there. Okay. It's, it's very doomy. <laughs> Doom. Um, how do we <clears throat> get out of here? Oh, just I'm just gonna run square into a ravager. I'm I'm quite certain of it. Just limbering up. I'm ready to. to uh. Get oh wait, there's one in here too. Oh crap. Uh, 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 Lake. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's only three, Tango, don't forget. <sighs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I want Tango to guide, well, to not guide me, but I'm going to go through the process as a complete user from start to finish. Um, the spawners are not active. 
That is enough light right there. I, I suppose I could do that just to make it extra juicy. Hi, friend. Where are you? Oh, you Madman, thank you so much. $50. This is amazing. <laughs> Come on, dude. Why, Where why do you? you know this guy? I'm at the lake and the guy's swimming and he don't even know. He's swimming? He's on holiday? He can't he figure a, out how to eat my he's face. In a he's in a luxury spa. He's sunbathing and loving life. I mean, there's clearly like low spots right there. He's definitely Who's stuck though. Ah, oh, Madman, thank you so much. Go give him a nudge. Go poke it. Give him a nudge. <laughs> Poke Go poke him. <laughs> Hold on. Why? Ouch. <sighs> Sounded like ET. How do I? Um. <sighs> he should absolutely be able to hop up on top of that. What is the Have problem? We discovered that they get like soggy fur or something. Is he getting is he getting sog sogged down? It's like he no, he's just targeting something else. It's not like a villager or something weirdly nearby, is there? I kind of want to come in and see, but I'm scared. <laughs> well, you could just I mean, what would he be attacking? I heard a villager just honking them. There's not a wandering guy that's appeared. Skeletons, maybe, but... I definitely hear a, a villager. Oh, it's your prisoner. I mean, your tickle. Yeah, prisoner. but he's looking in the wrong direction. Oh, the polar bear, people are saying? Uh, he won't attack a polar bear. Okay. Okay, he's looking at me now. Is that Ravager looking at you? <laughs> Boo! One hit, five hearts. Holy moly, There's man. flowing water. I mean, sure, but... Like... Can't he... This is so scary. Alright, come, come over here, Zed. <laughs> there is flowing water. Not that I think that that should matter, though. Jump, stupid ah. skeletons. Don't you do that, skeleton! <laughs> not now! Now is not the time. Try a fishing rod? Yeah, maybe. This is, this is dumb. Are you gonna have to put up some kind of barrier to stop him from taking a dip? Can I? I can't get a block underneath him. You could go just give him a little nudge. I've already. He's definitely still swimming though, right? So yeah, you'd need to put like a. I put, a, I put an arm block underneath him. Mighty Mon, thank you so much. Eleven hundred bits. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. How about if he's aggro on me? Hang on. Then Whoa, you could I'm go gonna... skidoodle him in the butt. I don't want to skidoodle nothing in nowhere. Skidoodle! Oh, yeah. He skidoodled! Hi, skidoodle! <laughs> <laughs> Extra no, skidoodling! Keep, keep him on you, keep him on you. Oh, oh, no, no problem, Zed. Okay. Okay, so he broke some leaves, which I know. He'll I'm fully expecting break. him to break some leaves. Okay. Okay, uh, this is the part where I leave. Uh, I think I broke something too. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Tango, what have you done here? <laughs> Just what have you created? Ever? Okay. <laughs> Alright, I am leaving this place of terrifying... <laughs> terrifying. Oh, so, hi. So there, hi. There are now three Ravagers running freely around the whole place. Yes. So. Yes. Uh, I don't think three is enough, because we'll, we'll, we'll see. All right, all right, find your way out. I'm out, I'm out. I'm on top of the roof somewhere. Okay. Fourth one? Nope. 
Come on up. We're test. gonna do a legit okay. test. Okay, all right, I'm trying to figure my, my way back to the start room again. Um, I think I can go in here and then through the door. You blocked the door off! Madras are just, so just leave. You could just step on the pressure plate. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust it. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we've actually got... Let me be a full tester. You're a full tester. So this is the way it's going to work here. I have every every hermit, when they first sign up and they pick their board, they get to take the shulker that's on their board. Okay. So I choose take, this one. Good, because that's the one I'm going to tell you to choose, because that's one of the only ones that's actually set up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the Ravagers can't hit the pressure plate, but they can't leave because they're too tall. Uh, okay, so plot that down. Inside should be... Decked out 26. A, a decked out, out dungeon key. A decked out dungeon key. And a key and some coins for your approval. Okay, so take those. You should know what to do, right? I think so. Take my box as well. That okay. can also be your uh, your deck of cards, too. Well, the box. Yes. Excellent, okay. Great. And we're going to try with no, uh, with no cards, this first one. With no cards, this is just a, a vanilla run. This is run. a beginner run, which means it's definitely one of the hardest, yeah. Okay, so uh, this makes okay, any sense, because I've not earned any cards or anything yet, so that's all, like, stuff later. Um, uh, right, I am already forgetting what I've got to do first. I've got to put a key in Hang here. Hang on. Oh, I wait for you. I figured it okay. out. Okay, I'm switching to cam account. <clears throat> okay, okay put the key in. To get my, my locker in Everything's going to be broken. Work. Like, I guarantee this first key is probably going to be broken. Did you even put it in yet? Key in. Hey, that part works. Okay. Okay. So even if I don't have any cards, I still You still to have to put key. the, uh, don't do your armor stuff first, though, before you press the button. So go to the, okay. go to the happy yeah. room. Happy put room. Put all your bits in there. Room of happiness where I'm not going to die. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Yeah. Airblader, so thank every, you so much. Everything I own, correct. 32, 10, 3, 2, 1, let's go. Thank you so um, much, Air, I appreciate that. I need to eat. Okay. And you're I'm basically holding away. nothing except your compass and your diminishing pride. I, I don't need the coins yet either then, do I? Nope. Coins are yours to keep, so definitely don't take those. Okay. Okay, and what Ooh. I do want to know is if there's a point in the dungeon where you're hungry and you're like, wow, I wish I had food right now. I am still entertaining the idea of having a feast card. Um, yes, I remember the feast so card. So I do want to know how much food you're using and what, what that's like. So you got your, your entire inventory is empty. No pick, no nothing, just a compass. No pick, no armor, no nothing, just a compass okay. and balls of steel. <laughs> okay. Did you sleep in the did you sleep in the bed? Or at least at your spawn? I didn't sleep in the bed, but just, I looked at it really okay. hard. Did you um, did you right click on it? I did. I did. Okay. Uh all right, have fun. <laughs> Dragon Mom, thank you very much. This is the first time anyone's actually used the compass to go find loot, so I'm hoping there's not some massive fundamental flaw. We're gonna... So, okay, obviously I would have read all the literature and stuff before. I'm running in, I'm following the compass, I'm finding the lowstone, I'm right-clicking the lowstone low nope. with the thing. The, you're gonna get to a location that the compass like is like, okay, it's clearly pointing at this spot on the ground, and you're gonna yep. throw the compass on the ground. Throw the compass on the ground at the exact spot. Yes. And then I'm I'm getting out of there. Yes. But I also want to punch fire. If you see soul flyers, punch them, yes. That is all I need to know, correct? Yes. Grampy Rick. Okay. You're amazing. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate that. $25. Initial uh, feedback. I am genuinely very scared. Like, <laughs> probably the most fearful I've been in Minecraft. <laughs> I'm, I promise you. This makes me happy. Okay. <laughs> I really think we're going to need more Ravagers because, well, let's see. Okay. Well, so. so for starters, where, what direction is your compass pointing generally? Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Oh, wow. Does the compass work in third? Rotate around. It does. It's, you see, it I can look at your thing. compass and tell. That's cool. I never knew that. All right. <sighs> compass cam. 
Okay. <laughs> uh, you have to press the button to oh, uh, yes. configure your deck of cards. Boop. It goes. Now the game is active, and right now the game is going, oh, I got no cards. Good luck. Okay. Boom, boom. Oh. Something Why? The game's trying to give me helps. Something just went through there. Well, you got credit for something. What what was in Yay! that shulker? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> like the hundred percent confident immediately followed by the ten percent confident. Nothing. Nothing. I'm, I'm, I'm really sure it was it was nothing, but now I'm starting to worry because I didn't check. Uh, okay, I don't know. Maybe there was some other bits in the system or something. I, okay. Who cares? Okay, this, you going? probably got a free something or other. But go ahead, go. Time's okay. a ticking. Stealth is, clank is being generated. Oh, clank, clank. Okay. I'm a bit scared. You're not even commenting! I'm too scared to comment! Um okay, great. I'm in the dun I'm in the nether room, but there's actual lava down there. I I, I can't. Etho uh. came and made music! And you didn't even uh. I Tango! Do you not realize how terrified <laughs> I am right now? To, to appreciate song. Oh, okay. I'm going, I'm going in, I'm through the, through the thing. I'm not seeing any soul fire, but I'm hearing like pistons going down and okay. I'm just trying to keep a very good eye out for anything. Where's my compass going for still? Still straight ahead. Okay. Okay. Anything in here? I'm trying to just listen for growls. This is where I know one was earlier. <laughs> oh, oh no. Okay. Oh no. Right. I think you might've seen me. I have to go the other Maybe. way. Maybe. He might've oh, seen no. you. <laughs> Um, oh, that didn't help matters. Okay, run, run, run. Run, run, run. Okay. Is he still on my tail? <sighs> okay. Let's go a different way, because I, I don't want to meet him just yet. Is he down there? <laughs> okay. Running through the, the nether brick area. I'm a bit lost. I'm still trying to find where this compass is going. It's still straight ahead. Okay. Looking around. Feather tickle room. Oh! Somewhere in here. Where's my compass gonna freak out? I think I found it. Oh no. This way a bit, this way a bit. It did it! I got the shulker! What's in the shulker? Okay. Do I, dare I look? <laughs> <laughs> um, I got an end set rare, an uncommon, and a common. Ooh, end set with a set end set, yes. Cool, okay. okay. Oh, I can't pick that back up now. Oh, how embarrassing for you. Okay, just leave it. <laughs> well, you can still oh, punch no. it, right? You'll still get it. Yeah. Yeah, you're making progress. Look, yeah. Skadoodle. Oh, phew. Okay. You're good. All right, I've not seen any soul fire. Uh, soul fire, soul fire, soul fire. I've well, you probably ravages. shouldn't because you have no Either. soul seeker in your deck. So maybe one or two is, is open. Okay. Okay, this is good. Uh, so, so what does the soul fire give me again? Is it worth me trying to hunt it? Um, uh, maybe? But... fire? Probably not, given how few... That's regular fire. Given how few? Given how Get little soul place. seeker you have. Ah! That trap is busted again, I gotta fix that. Is there meant to be lava in there? Oh! There we go, now it fixed. I fixed it with my body. <laughs> then wait, wait to fix. Okay, running, running, running. I've not heard a, a ravagey. You saw one and that was it. I saw one and then got scared. I'm, I really want to punch one bit of soul fire. That's my aim. Okay, so, so far we've there. seen no clank walls. Okay, are you right? timing how long I've been in here? No, I've not seen any clank walls down, but equally, I'm panicking a So little. it doesn't... Oh! I... The clank system is turned off. I turned it off for B-dubs. <sighs> I just remembered. Okay, well that... Yeah. So you're not generating <laughs> any clank. So that's why... Yay. That's okay, why no good. walls so, are being... So I remember I punched the dust out. We've learned a lot. I'm coming out. I'm coming okay, out. Okay, come on out. And we'll we'll try again. Um, And I think we need to put another Ravager in. How do I leave? I, I am convinced that four Ravagers is required, yeah. Okay, I think I'm going the right way. I now cannot sprint because of food. Just wow. So, you know. so have you been sprinting a lot, though? Yes. Okay. Almost exclusively. Right. 
So interesting. Whew. So you made it out. Okay, now hold on. Now we're still testing. Okay. Um, I want you to press the button to get your shulker back. Shulker. Uh, wait. You complete your dungeon. Press this button. Boop. Shulker back. And There's now. Two rockets in it. Okay. So the whatever. Anyways. Now, look in the three things to the right. I gotta put some signs up and stuff. There should be one card in each of these for Let you to choose. Am I taking them? Oh, I, oh, okay. Uh, What'd you get? I chose the loot finder. I didn't realize it would ruin all of them. <laughs> <laughs> you just picked right away. Okay, you don't even I, know what the I other ones were. I picked one up. Okay. I don't know if there were other ones or-, or There was, because I checked. Not. But once you okay, take good. one, they all go away. I got loot finder one. Random barrels throughout the dungeon will contain decked out coins for your looting pleasure. Greedy. More coins you'll find. Okay, sweet. Good. And so yes, the, the five minute lockout system is active. That that iron nugget right there is ensuring that no one can run the dungeon for five minutes from now. He's being, do you want me to try and run the dungeon again? I mean, you can. I, I highly doubt it. It shouldn't work unless there's a problem with the redstone, but um, I have to turn Clank on. So I won't, try, I won't try it yet. We'll, we'll try and uh, look D deal with what we learned there and then uh, see what see what happens okay i really i really hope i didn't put um stuff in the shulker box to begin with Whew. Oh, so that wasn't bad but not nearly threatening enough i the fear levels were still quite high but i am gonna go in next time feeling a little bit more confident right a little too confident <laughs> Plus, there was no Clank being generated there, so if Clank works, which I'm not convinced it's going to, but if Clank actually does anything... It would be harder. You would have been generating a lot of Clank there, I think. Yeah, I felt like I was being quite clanky. <laughs> clanky. I was clanking all over the place. Woo! Heidi, thank you so Man. much. I appreciate that for two months. Thank you. This thing getting my heart racing. Okay, so now... Why don't we just say, go ahead and take that loot finder and make that your first card in your deck. Okay, brilliant. Boop. And boop. Um, sadly, let's see, I think I have, yeah, no, I don't have any more loot really configured, so we're going to have to fake this, okay? Okay. Um, <laughs> give me your, give me your compass and I'll just go. I threw it in the thing. Oh, right, duh. Ooh. Uh, I used it. Okay, let me go get it. You go get it, man. Pendle Love, thank you so much for the five gift subs. Muggity, muggity, mug. Do appreciate it. Thank you very much. I put it in the wrong place. No, you put it in the right place. Oh, no, people. Are t oh, I put the loot fighter in the wrong Thank you. Whoop. Okay. Okay, Ooh. I got your. I got your compass. I'm going to reconfigure it to somewhere else. Okay, sneaky, sneaky. Do you wanna? You want this to be a difficult one? Yeah, sure. Do your worst. I got this. I'm brave. Set from common and set. I don't know if this will actually be difficult or not. No, no. What happened? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Didn't sound like nothing. Oh, let's just say the spirits of the dungeon awoken. Oh, okay. There, this happens sometimes. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, oh, those, those spirits. Okay, little fluttery flutterbys. Okay. Uh, we're gonna need some more keys. Let me go get those. Oh yeah, give me another key. We have 4.4k viewers right now on a Wednesday morning. Holy crap! <laughs> Thank you guys They're for showing up today. Stuff. <laughs> Stuff. Um, okay. Should the door have shut behind me now? By the way. Clank is turned on now. Uh, it will probably shut off when that five-minute timer is up. No one can run the okay. dungeon right now. I am going to go up there and uh, remove that. 
Man, this thing's making me my nose run. I'm getting I'm allergic to these. I there's just too much redstone here. I don't oh. even know where to go. You've created a, your own personal. <laughs> Aha, over here. Okay, yep. so, man, this thing, you made this thing so in-depth, man. It's its so cool. Yeah. So I've, I've got two what yeah. um, sets did I start getting then? I started getting two end sets, right? Oh, that's done. Did the, did the front door close? Uh, yes. Nice. Okay, good. And everything is Very skadoodle. It, I think I think the five minute timer went up just as I was in, up up in here up in the bits. It sounds about right, honestly. It's, so, it's, it's just, just so hard navigating all this now. Um, four, okay. Four per set, but there we go. All right, where are you at? Um, I'm in the in the lobby. I need a key, please. Oh, hi. There's your key. Key, maybe. And here's your new compass. Beautiful. Reconfigured. Okay, I've, just, I've just got a loot finder one book. That's all we're going. That's with. fine. Um, the okay. new this this. By the way, what is, are those artifacts still in the other room up there? Yes. Okay. Um, just leave them there. So this run here. No, I put them in my board. Oh, did you? Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, all right. So this run, don't you're not going to get artifacts. <laughs> we're just we're, punching the. We're just testing, but you still are going to go through the whole process normally. So. And I'm afraid, sorry, is that the compass, what I get from dropping the compass? You will not get a shulker, yeah. Okay. You will get something else. You'll, still... You will get a bone. Ooh. <laughs> Can't wait. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, let me That was on, on the table. Okay. <laughs> okay, I am in spectator, so, all right, put the key in and come on in. <laughs> key, key is going in. The Go clank is open. on. The clank is on. And I'm putting my <clears throat> finder one in the thingy. Thank you very much. Yep. For shrimp. Okay, game is active. Game is active. Uh, compass is going dead left. Okay, here goes. I heard all the go flames ahead. go. I'm Etho music. Okay, straight left. You said this was a difficult one? Oh. I'm blocked off. Oh, hello! Oh, hello! Okay, he can climb. <laughs> he can climb. He oh, knows. Man. He, he knows. knows he knows. <laughs> okay, how do I loop round? Um, no, this isn't going the way I need it to go. Oh, oh. unfortunate. Man, dungeons. Okay, going round the corner because I think I can get up and round here. Where did that guy come from, and where? Wait, no, how do I get up and around? Oh no, this way, this way's fine. Running. Oh, I'm gaining stuff with dung dung dungs. Clank's coming in. <laughs> dun dun dun. No, I just looped back around. How do I Stop it, Clank! Okay, alright. How do I I'm I can genuinely... like right click you, right? And get in your you face? Can, you can be in my head. Aha, okay. So dark We're in your head now. Okay. It's a scary place to be. Right, I think I have this to go so around weird. this way, around here. Yeah, there is a way here. Okay, excellent. Dead ahead, Captain. All oh, the clank walls. Clank walls. But I can also use the clank walls to see. Yeah, oh yeah. But I'll take that trade any day. What was that? I just saw something ominous move past the thing. <laughs> oh, I don't like having my back to anything. Okay. I know that there was a guy near here somewhere. There are three Ravagers in there right now. We're gonna we're gonna be putting in more, I think. It's so dark in this place. <clears throat> Where does this compass take me? This is what I love is the compass is like a, it's a clue, but it's not it's not automatic. Huh? Oh boy! Oh boy! I see, I see <laughs> okay. That's weird. I'm surprised he didn't path to you right now. Uh, trying to fiddle. I found the compass. I, I got my bone. All right. Now I need to leave. I'm not going that way. Was there <laughs> only one way in and one way out? Oh no. Can I climb a tree? Huh. Oh, I have to go back out this way, I think. He's still there hopping. He's stuck, which is a problem. Okay. I run by. Oh, you've made, you've made mistakes now, my friend. 
Ouch! <laughs> yep. Ouch! You've made oh, mistakes no. now, my friend. You How do I made get out mistakes of now. <laughs> oh no! He's right there, Tango. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Why isn't he chasing you? He should be yeah. eating. He should be chomping on your bitties right yeah. now. And the trap's still busted. I gotta redo that trap. Oh, that trap just saved my life. Ah, uh, okay. trap should be. And I leave. Not doing that. And I leave. You you skipped the whole parkourificator. <laughs> I tried it twice. Where door? Ah. Oh. Okay. Ah. Oh. How do I how do I get out of your face? You don't want to leave. <laughs> Shift. Okay. Oh man, right. I got bone. <laughs> Still far too easy. Uh, but here's the problem. It's like, and this is what I was afraid of, right? This, this is our let's be real moment here. Is the Ravagers are just not enough of a threat. They're not. They, they're not um, pathing to you adequately. Like that, what, what we saw there was the, like the quintessential example that I designed this for. The clank walls were down. He saw you through the clank walls. And he was just, just like, like he's just like, man, I'm just going to hang out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Ravager well, was in the cobwebs, and the cobwebs are there intentionally, right? But he doesn't get to stuck in them. To stop people, to stop me. Well, it's to stop players from... I mean, so here's the thing. The, the, the real reason the cobwebs are there is because otherwise that trap is way too lethal. Because the player has to go really slow over it, and the Ravager can just run right across it. But maybe we take him out. Do they not, like, push the player further across? <laughs> well, they'll push... If, if they're, they're just going to bite the player and kill him if they're... Right, right, that's true. Um, oh, oh, there are no book rewards. Oh, I have to press the button first. Yes. I learn. It's gonna be. Your clank was pretty low. I wanted to check that out, because one of the things I want to do now, like, we didn't get to the point where the evokers popped out, right? Uh, no. Thank goodness. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I didn't get choice of three books that time. You did not. I did not. I pushed my button and everything. Oh, wait, where's the minecart? What the heck? No bookies. Oh, what the heck? Why is the minecart stuck up here? No bookies. Oh, man. Why did my that minecart get stuck up there? Well, that's a problem. You need to hook me up to a heart rate monitor to play That this. would be great, I know. Okay, so things we're trying to really focus on here is the rate at which the walls are falling, how long it takes before... Which is the plank. Right. How long before the evokers come out? Like, given the, the time you were in that dungeon, like, what would you expect? I, I honestly don't know how long I was in there for. I felt like I was in there for what I would imagine to be a relative medium time. I had to go quite a long way round to get to the nether. I, I would say so too. Um, and you were not, you had no stealth. I had no stealth. I didn't try and get any other fires. I just beelined it straight out of there once I had my bone. I was in there for three minutes, apparently. So I was imagining sort of three to five minute runs, something like that, maybe up to 10 if you were really like, had loads of it, cards in. And right, you were, if, you're, if you're really trying to get- uh, You were decked out. If you're, if you're, yeah, if you're trying to get a lot of uh, soul flames and stuff like that, yeah. And you do know the dungeon better than anyone other than me at this point, so. <laughs> I was gonna say, even you. Why did this get stuck here? That makes no sense. That's all powered. That was, a, that was a fun time. I feel nice and awake. How? I'm genuinely confused how that minecart Is got just a mine stuck on a full there. strip of powered rail. Yeah, was it a bat maybe? It is not on a chunk boundary. Hit would a would a bat even stop a minecart? That makes no sense. Um, they've got a physical hitbox, I think. I think bats. Well, having merge. a hitbox is different than having a collision. Like they don't. Uh, I meant collision when oh, I. Oh, maybe hitbox. the power is. No, this is permanently powered. Yeah. That would be bat. Oh wait a minute! What is powering that? Maybe. Is that not actually being powered? Is it is it coincidentally being powered by this right here? And I forgot to actually. I bet you that's what it was. 
I bet you this signal got depowered because he took an item out or so. I don't know. All right, I, I got it powered now. I think that might have been the fix. I believe in tango failure over bat. <sighs> that's for sure. Yes, absolutely. That's much more likely. What am I doing in here, buddy? I'm like terrified. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're just in there? I'm just in there, right? Like, Don't do that. Okay, so... Oh, I need to put my bone up on Is it one. time to put another one in? <clears throat> yes, I think so. At least one. Let me go see where they're at right now. Let okay. me put on... And... My bone. <laughs> Collecting a set man is a lot of fun. I'm telling you now. I already want to go the, in again. The collect them all aspect is is strong, right? Yeah, I got to do it. Okay, I know where all three are right now. Shall I get dressed again? Uh, nope. Oh, do you want to get another one in there? I thought that's what we're gonna do, right? Uh, yeah, let's. We might as well. I'd rather get that done. Oh, there's so much to do. Like, we can stream for five hours here. You're good for another five hours, right? Uh, sure. <laughs> if you mean an hour and a half. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. What else do I need? Maybe a pickaxe? That probably do. So, so, okay, let's talk about Clank, right? He was in there for what we both considered to be... Three full minutes, roughly. An average amount of time, maybe on the on the on the low end of time. Oh, can you give me some food, real quick? Sorry, I forgot. To uh. So first of all, he knows the dungeon way better than anyone. I Someone going in the first time around. would have been way slower and getting way more lost in there. Yeah. Um. Second, I believe, and I, I want to check, like, before you turn the dungeon off next time, I want to check your, your clank level over here. Oh, I sorry, believe I you were... Okay. It's my fault. I didn't think of it until the end. Um, but basically, however many... Like, so these 15 iron ingots, they're, that, that's basically... Uh, that's cap. You're at high. And then as you generate clank, that goes down to zero. And when it's at zero is when the evokers are released. So at the end, I want to see how many... Iron ingots are were, in that hopper, ingots. so we can start to judge, like, where... Oh, we're still on the chem count. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> so we can judge uh, how many, you know, how close it was. to. The, I think when I came over here, there were three iron ingots in there. Huh. Which basically means that you were close to releasing the evokers. And we a lot of... We were four-fifths of the way. A lot them. of clank walls were down, right? Yeah, it felt like it. I was, I was just quite airy, breezy in there. Yeah, but sadly, it didn't work. I'm, I'm. Should we take out those cobwebs above the lava trap? Maybe. <clears throat> so here's the deal. Like, it does. They that, prevent I'm, I'm the. Tell you now, to be truthful, that lava trap does terrify me. Right. No one's gonna go over that lava trap. Up. I think people are just gonna see that lava trap and turn around. I think it needs to be a little easier because I felt like turning around every. I already, I already slowed it down. It's quite easy, but I think just the idea of walking over lava is what's going to yes. make people turn around. They're going to be like, no, exactly. But that time, maybe that's I a good thing. There was a ravager staring at me. Maybe so, that's you know. a good thing because that is the way you. If you go into the dungeon and turn left there, that is a quick way to get into the Nether quadrant. That was intentional right. in the map design. But I wanted to associate a cost to that quick path, and that's why that trap is there. Like, I don't want them to be able to just go, boop, oh, I'm in the nether, got my thing. Yeah. Like, so it's a I choice have of... to go all the way around the right. to get there otherwise. Right. So you have to go to the center area, turn left, and go over another trap. The only way to get into the nether quadrant without going over a trap is to go all the way through the blackstone area. Now, the cobweb is there for two reasons. The primary reason is to slow the Ravager down. Um... Because otherwise, he literally just sprints across the whole thing, which right. means, and, and maybe that's good. Maybe you have to, like, look over your shoulder before you do that trap. Like, if you're being yeah. chased by the Ravager, there's no way you're making it across that thing. But I do question if that cobweb was messing up him not pathing to you. I don't know.
Ethan is incredible. Yeah. So continue as you were. <laughs> Ethan came in and did that last <laughs> night. Yeah. And I think for the for the for the game nerds out there, I think it's Sunken Ship from Super Mario RPG, which I don't know what that is. But Maybe, some of you Mario yeah, fans out there might know. I don't recognize that one either. My initial <laughs> thought was it's a bit chirpy happy than I wanted, but whatever. It's got this undertone it's cute. of like, oh, yeah. Plum, plum, it's a little bit like an evil waltz. Yeah, an evil waltz is kind of what it is. Yeah, Freddy Baggins, by the way, thank you so much. Your five gift subs, by the way, over uh, for minutes ago in words. Thank you so much. And level up Jumbo with a thousand biddies. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, the song yeah, is the good, yeah. The did get stuck at the cobwebs, so... But do you think it was the cobwebs that... Let's let's just take them out. Know. I'll go take them out. We'll, we'll do we'll what we need out. to we do. We can add them back in. It's easy enough. Da, 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 da. And, then, and then what do we do? We put in... Should we go get another one? Uh, maybe. I wouldn't know where to put this one, though. You're going to have to I, oh. spy them out. Muscar. Tw <laughs> 25 <laughs> gift subs. Why That's... is Clank still happening? Clank always happens because of bats and stuff. Holy cow, Muscar, thank you so much. You're amazing, Muscar. Thank you for everything. Here, Patreon, everything. I'm lost. Okay, so here's the thing. Clank still happens because bats can cause Clank and the Ravagers right. can cause Clank. But the Clank level doesn't go up because the game... Uh, because the game doesn't allow the Clank to stay at the level it automatically. Basically, just hoppers just empty it automatically. Right. Okay. Um, what, what the... What the... What the, Man, I get this all the time. Like, once a stream, like, my WASD gets all messed up and my guy starts moving in weird directions that I'm not controlling, and... I... I had that a little bit. Yeah, have you seen this? I've seen this. I, I thought it was just me. Ah! What happened? Maybe, maybe... Maybe we'll just leave the cobwebs up for now. Maybe yeah, that's fine. <laughs> maybe they're great there. Maybe... Maybe the cobwebs are just fine. <laughs> <laughs> He did not move. Do, are cobwebs... Maybe that's what it is. Maybe they block the line of sight. Cobwebs block line of sight, and that's why yeah. he didn't aggro me right there, and that's also why he didn't aggro you before when the clank was down. But I know that, like, I gotta get him grass out. used to not aggro creepers through it. I think so it's the same thing. I thought they changed that in this version. I thought Man, I like, don't hey, know. Got... Hang yeah. on, I'm gonna go did kill myself. I don't know. Uh, start working on some track to get to get the Ravager into uh, the new area. Okay. What's the new, what's the new area? We, we can drop them off in the Blackstone area again. If oh, that's okay. where the, if that's where the track is. That's where the track's currently headed. Um, I don't have any blocks on me. Okay. Uh, can you give me like a stack of blocks? He's right there, man. <laughs> huh? Wait, where'd you go? <laughs> He's in the worst possible spot. I'm gonna lure him. <sighs> Sounds like you're gonna need some help. <laughs> where are you? Oh, I'm I see above you. you. Can I hop in through the ceiling? Uh, yeah. Should I help him through this? Oh, hi! Not not over here, though. This is, uh, I got this side covered. Thank you very much. <laughs> the other side of the trap. Okay. If you could... Or how about the... Oh, oh. Oh! He saw. He saw you? I think, because he, he was moving quick. Oh, yeah, he's good. through the cobwebs now. So cobwebs do block line aside. The cobwebs definitely have to come out. We need to go in and break the cobwebs. No! Mm. All right. Fine then. Fine. Yeah, go in and break the cobwebs now. Now would be a good time. I'm only punching them. Stop I'm being punching. chicken. Like there's literally a good beast right in front of me. There's no way I could possibly get by him. All right, are you punching out the cobwebs? Yes. No. Can't hear you. It's gonna take me about an hour. <laughs> Sorry, you, you got Robotty there. You don't have a sword on you or anything? He's coming back. No, he's not. One. 
Yeah, I'm doing my best like to keep him here. Long. Yeah, he can climb vines, which is annoying. I wish they couldn't. Breaking number two. Now. How many are there? Four. Yeah, breaking number two now. Oh, okay. Um, well done. He might be coming back. It looks like. Okay. Never mind. I'm I'm holding his attention. Hold him back. I've got my pickaxe on me and armor. I might not be able to reach the last one. I'm literally tiptoeing over the lava right now, punching a very, very hard to break cobweb. Oh, it was only th three. Okay. Okay, it's so all I'll... clear now. Um, sure, it's clear, but I, I'm still in, and I have no way of getting out. Frank's happening. Dun, dun, dun. That's ominous. Can I go out through the floor somewhere? That would be great. I gotta get this guy to leave. Otherwise, he's just gonna be like, oh, look. Okay. Uh, he's in a bad spot. Do vines block line of sight? That's a good question. Throw him an Oreo and run. Spook, spook, thank you so much. You Twitch Prime. I could Ender Pearl past him. But then I got to go across the lava. I would have to double ender pearl. Have fun with that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Boom. Ma with the five dollar donation. Thanks so much. E double D and Mr. Crown with the resub. Muggy, muggy, muggy. Guys. He's going to be so right much. by the entrance. You could. Uh, oh, that's the uh, <laughs> that could happen to anyone. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> ah. How am I going to uh, get out now? <laughs> you gotta break through the floor like I did. He's right by the entrance. I'm trying to lure him out. Look tasty, man. Look tasty. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. Be as tasty as you can. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Look at him being all ravagery up there. He don't see. You don't see? You don't, don't even know? You don't see. Come on, dude. I, sh I really okay. need to go and get some... He sees. Stuff. Oh, is he on you? He's he chasing? sees. He sees! He sees! <laughs> Come on, dude. I want you out. Come on! What are you... Is he getting stuck on vines? Do I need less vines in here? I think I need less vines. Maybe D-vine. Yeah, divine, divine. Divine. Why? Why you know? Yeah, vines are bad. Oh! Oh, he jumped. Oh, he jumped. Oh. Hmm. Mm. I don't want to be here anymore. Just run. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> Have a time for you running. Okay, he's he's in a good spot now. Everything's fine. I'm evacuating. Okay. More than just you. Yes. <laughs> <out. laughs> okay. <laughs> Operation relocate ravager complete. Oh my god. All right. Okay, how's that track going? I'm coming out now to help you. I'm uh, trying to figure out how to do it, but there might be ravagers down here, so I'm a little scared. Let me turn off my AC. Right. Uh, 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 how do I, how do I play this game? How do I get up here? Uh, oh. Um, I'm missing a, oh no, I am not. I'm got one of those. This okay. is insane. Ready, ready for another, really? another one. Really? It's ready for skadoodle? Ready for skadoodle time. Okay. Uh, shall I go push the button? Yes. <laughs> Squeak! <sighs> Alright, don't want to release the Ravager. I think he's ready anyway. Looks like it. Activator rails activated. Is he. Oh, oh, have you pressed it yet? Don't press it. Nope, nope. Um, how am I going to get out of there though if I break the scaffolding all the way down? Fly? <laughs> I 
can't fly. I've not got rockets. I didn't pick any up. Oh, you're still naked butt? Still on half naked butt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just, you know, casual right now. Um, here, here. Uh, I'll come to you. You give me some rockets. Okay. And then I, and I'd be good. <laughs> half casual butt. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm over so by the ravagers. Oh hi. Wing. Okay. Look at me. Maybe an ender pearl. If you got man. I I have one ender pearl and I don't like you that much, so. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I would sort of say about you, so it's. I know, mutual. right? <laughs> uh, can I press the button? Uh, yeah, I mean, if I want to do an epic Indiana Jones moment, then sure. <laughs> Pressed. He's released. Oh no, scaffolding, man! What? That was the whole point. He's gonna land on scaffolding. He didn't land on it, he's free! Oh, it worked. Okay. Oh, he's loose! Fantastic! Good job! There's a loose oh, loose he's very angry. Oh, look at him, he look at him! Sit down there. He wants to chomp on your bit so bad. Okay. Uh, so we can, you know, we can go clean that stuff up later, right? Sure, nobody goes in that room anyway. This is, we have four in there now, right? Yes. We might need more than four. But anyway. Huh? Let's, let's first. do another, let's do another run. Okay. Uh, hold on, straight up, how much time do you legit have? I, I have, I have, I have just over an hour. Okay. Let's do, let's do another run. We'll just leave all the track here, okay? Sure. You go out to the entrance and I will get another compass ready for you. Got to mentally prepare myself again. Uh, oh, that compass is over here. Let me go get that. That's my sneaky way. Well, they get hurt by Vex. No, Vex aren't going to attack Ravagers. Are you trying to get it back up? You can come over here yeah, if you want. I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, come over here. Where is here? To the front, where, where you just were. Papa. Okay. You can come over here. Such a maze, man. This is part of the maze. You should open this part up. Yeah, no, 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 no. All right, you go in there. Aha, okay. Now okay. I know. Now I know. Okay, wait. I was just waiting for a key. Get naked. Prepare myself. Tango's gonna mix up where the compass is. He's gonna. Gonna give you a bone again. Oh yes, yes, please. I wouldn't wouldn't ask for anything less. <sighs> okay. Key is all configured. Beautiful. There are five okay. ravagers in the dungeon. Uh, you need a key. I need a key. And a compass. In a compass, and I am good. <clears throat> so, Crowns, and, and I want to talk about this actually. Crowns says, Can you do a run with multiple compasses? One of the things I'm very much considering, and I feel like it should be the way to do it, is uh, like right now he's what he's doing what's called like a, a a simple mode, right? Where you have a compass that points you to a lodestone, and that lodestone has your loot, and you get the loot and you get out. I'm what I may, what I, <laughs> you're kind of a simple guy, right? Um, what I may do is. Have a compass that points to a lodestone. You throw your compass in there. Out pops another compass, which then takes you to a completely separate part of the dungeon, and that is where you get your loot. But that will be like a advanced run, and you'll get better proportional loot. Maybe you'll get an extra artifact or something like that um, for longer runs, basically. Um, that requires a ton more management on my part and keeping track of two tier linking between compasses and making sure it's just it's a it's a mess so if it's necessary i'll do it i'm hoping it's not but we'll see we'll see uh dot dot thank you <laughs> back in the day i used to be a trampoline tester it had its ups and downs Compassception. nice stuff. i like that okay um ready 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 uh nope let me get on let me get on happy cam spectate me Uh, okay. I have no books this time. That's fine. 
I do technically have a loot finder. Do you have a shulker box? You need a shulker box. Uh, I do, I do. Okay. I'm just putting my bits away. Oh, I'm gonna need food soon though, aren't I? Okay. I'm gonna be putting a loot one book back into the system. Okay. I hope that is okay. Oop. Low life Jeff, no. There's no charge, no diamonds, no cost of anything associated with this game. Just fun. Okay. Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that one ding? The one ding of... That was uh, it registering your loot finder. My loot so, finder it. you should open some crates. Maybe you'll find some coins. Where are the crates? Random barrels hidden throughout the dungeon have a chance of having <laughs> coins in them. Okay, I'm going in. I love the music starts. Makes me so happy. All right, go for it. Okay. <laughs> Who do that? Maggie Smith, thank you so much for the two one dollar donations. I try to look, but also trying to not die. Okay, the compass is going right over here. I reckon it's throne room time. Okay. Try not to move around too much to generate clank. Is it in here? <gasps> might be in here. Might be in the library. I might have walked straight there. Done, it's not. Okay. <laughs> it's not up the ladder. No. Um running, running, running. Checking where else it could be. Looking around to save my life. I'm in the chapel. Oh! That wall's down. I think it might be in the in the present room. The present room. Okay. Oh, he's a threat in there though! Oh no, did he see me? He sees me! He sees me! Okay, I run, I run. Blacksmith, help! Make me a sword. How do I get there now? Okay, I'm hoping if I loop round, I can go round the other side of the throne room. This isn't this. This isn't such. He's lost. I love it. I'm lost. I hate it. <laughs> Wait, I thought the throne room was there. Isn't it? Oh, that's great. Is it round here more? Where is the throne room? There he is. Okay. He's big and he's tough. I'm looking for loot as well. Okay. Oh, you loot? No, you're a bat. You scared the crud out of me. <laughs> there we go. There's a zombie in here that's like a security. You, no! You're allowed. You're allowed to kill. <laughs> you're allowed no! to kill zombies, by the way. Sure. Sure. Okay. I think I may. I think I outfoxed. Where's this compass leading me? Oh, I think I found it. Bone me. Okay, I got You've bone. You've been boned. Okay, now I leave. That's the dead end. Okay. Right. What is happening? Where are they now? Can I get out of here alive is the question. Look at all the clank walls down. Oh, it's so... Clank wall downy. No, that's the wrong way. Okay. Run, run, run. I think I'm home free. No, that's the wrong way. Ah, uh, they're getting clumped. <laughs> Not a clump. Okay, and I leave, and I leave, and I leave. Okay, yeah, don't turn hungry. the game off. Don't turn the game off. No, no, no. Hungary is very close to being unrunnable, by the way. Interesting. Okay. Oh. Okay, you're at. Oh wow, yeah, you're only at like half clank. That was a oh. quick run, though. That was quite a quick run. I went straight to the. You're well, at nine right now, still. Oh man, that was that was the scariest one so far. I saw two ravagers at the same time. And there are there of... were two ravagers there. Yeah. So here's the thing. Like right, right. It's still too easy. I agree. It, uh, the problem is ravagers just aren't enough of a threat. They lose aggro too fast. Let me ask you this question. Say ten people did runs, right? Mm -hmm. How many of those would you like to have been failed death runs? Three. Three out of ten. Okay. Maybe. Interesting. Yeah. Good to know. I don't want most people to fail. I want most people to succeed, but I definitely want it to be a significant chance where you're really nervous. You want people to know that if they go in, they, they might die, even if they didn't before. Right. Oh, but man. I don't... I feel like you could run this 20 times right now and never die. Yeah. <laughs> 
I don't know. That last yeah. one felt. He, here cool. is. So I've already been thinking about this because I anticipated Ravagers not being aggressive enough. Right. I am thinking of hitting all players the second they enter with a four minute splash potion of slowness. That lowers their speed by 15% for four minutes. What I don't know is does speed regeneration from a beacon overwrite that or do they merge together? That's a good question. If you get slowness and Does speed it cancel out the slowness or does it just temporarily, you know, add to it kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. Which is good. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want like too difficult. Fifteen percent really isn't a lot. Who say test it? Science. Yeah, I mean we're not gonna do that now, but um, all right. So even that, even with zombies and two ravagers, you basically went in there and did a little skadoodle, looped around, right? It nearly got me. It nearly got me trapped by try, even trying to skadoodle. It wasn't boring. I, it wasn't boring. I almost got to the point where I would have had to have lured one of Navoka out to get past it. Right. Because they were nearly fully blocking that area off. Oh, you know what I need to do? What's that? I need to... Okay, switching cams. <clears throat> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, beast sense, because that's the easiest way to do this. HJK, thank you so much. Oh, you're gonna go ring the bell. You should try with the Soul Seeker card to see what the clank is like. Yeah. So you're right. If there, if Soul Seeker was active and players were trying to find more uh, soul flames, they would stay in longer. Obviously, you're basically just get in, get out, boom, get in, get out. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. All right, hang on. What line is the beast sense line? Is the blue line? I am incredible. What's that? I'm, I'm super good. So you know, not gonna give it a fair test because I'm just so darn good. I've not died once. All right, so beast sense doesn't work. Oh. I see all the beasts. <laughs> but unfortunately, you see all the evokers too, which I hate. I did not think of that. Of like tagging them with, do not show me. One, two, three. Okay, I can see all four beasts. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Terrifying. Okay, we're going to do, you want me to set you up for another run or what? Sure, go for it. Let's keep this party going. Put all eight in. We might have to. Who knows? Maybe. Okay. Collecting these bones here, man. And I don't. I don't have enough. I only have like eight lodestones I... in right now, so I want to get more in. Can I? Did you just now? do that? I didn't do nothing yet. What did I do? I'm not sure why Beast Sense. Ow! Oh, you haven't you haven't taken the box out yet. No, that's why I was just asking. Sorry, you yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, take it out because the game is still active. Yeah. No, I'm not. Ooh. Ooh. What? I nearly died from a wither skeleton there, man. Oh, <laughs> don't do that. You you're right. Ones. You're right. When I was pressing the button, I wasn't saying activate. You're right. I was being stupid. I was adding B sense rank. I wasn't saying activate the B sense system to do that. I should have pressed this over here right here would do it. Yeah. Okay. That was my bad. Thank you guys. Okay. Uh, I have a compass coming for you. Okay. Very good. Very good. I'm all ready to go. I'm ready and raring. Um, so food, right? Let's talk. You, you've been, I've been you've been leaving at the point where you were like, I could nom something right now, right? 
I, the first time round, yeah, pretty much. I've been just on the cusp of needing food to sprint. Okay. So, feast might be a thing. Because also remember, if you just nom a steak before you go in, you're going to have a bit of extra saturation. Whereas I might right. have like been eating and then waiting five minutes and then going in. Um, right. Oh my God. Can you, uh, I want to, I want to run some with some, uh, experimental cards this time, if you don't mind. Uh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which <clears throat> card should I, Beast Sense 1 or Stealth 1? Uh, no, I want to do, I'm going to give you crazy cards now. I should take one just to, like... Cut, come on out, come on out of the room, because I want to... Will these books not break it, but being in, in there? Books not break it? What? Should I take a prize book? Oh, 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 uh, yeah, sure. Sure, okay. Just to reset the system. Good, good, good. What I am interested in there mostly is if you ever get a tier two or tier three card. I did not. They were all tier one. Okay, that's what I would expect given that you did not punch out a single. No, I've not seen a single one. I don't think. Okay, B sense loot finder. Let me get you some good cards here. Oh yeah, OP mode. I'm gonna get barrels. I'm gonna get fires. My bum's gone to sleep. Do you wanna? Do you wanna make this be like a more? Advanced run? Yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of <laughs> course. Cool. Yeah. Okay. I am going to need all these cards back later on, if you know what I'm saying. Sure. <laughs> Shove that box full, my friend. Okay, we're going to give you... Give me these. We're going to give you a super high-end deck. Deck me out. This is a lot of fun. I am having so much fun playing this. Good. And this is not even working properly. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, so you're gonna have a Beast Sense 3. Okay. Hopefully then. that'll go off. We wanna, we wanna, there's a lot I'm asking you to pay attention. I'll, uh, I'll be paying attention. The viewers will be paying attention. But for a tier three rank of that, are you getting an adequate amount of bell ringing, right? That's sure. something we're trying to measure. Uh, stealth 3 is is what we're going with which is an okay amount of stealth not great um so that should give you that should give you six uh clank preventions and you should hear that tiptoe noise we worked on last week instead of the dun 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 right so we want to we want to see if we hear six of those you're going to get a lot of soul seeker you got soul seeker six which means we should see four to six Soul Seeker flames popping open. And then I'm also giving you a Loot Finder three. Um, on, and I will straight up tell you when you get close. Well, I don't want to do that because that's going to be a huge advantage for you. There may be barrels that have... Uh, and not rush. I'm going to really try and... It's, it's always barrels. Yeah, so this run, pretend you're a pro player. And <laughs> pretend. I know, it's, I know it's hard, right? And try to... Uh, like, you're looking for soul flames, right? Soul flames and loot, my friend. That's right. what I'm after. Right. Uh, key. Uh, key. And that, and this, and hang on, I'm... Don't go in yet, I'm still... You sort yourself out, man. I'm just psyching uh, myself up. Be sense. To be an expert player. Finder. Nope, I should put that. I gotta, I gotta get more organized here with these cards. Stealth. Ooh, man. Finder. Oh, oh wait, these no. are the originals. God. You remember when we were doing the, the horror streams and how tired out we felt after Yeah, then? this is like that, right? No? This is tiring. Okay, the five minute timer just ended. Perfect. Okay, uh, so... First of all, I gotta thank Canadian, HJK, Janie, Harpy. Guys, thank you. All the subs that I'm probably missing. I really appreciate them, guys. Thank you so much. Nicole. Uh, okay, so your goal this time is to get your bone. <laughs> Always with the bone. And yeah. you want to try and push the limits a little bit and maybe try to get some soul flames. I'm going to not head what's immediately. Your, what's your strategy here? My strategy is to move around, but obviously. Um, <laughs> no, I'm going to sit in a corner and cry. <laughs> and tremble. Good strategy. Um, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna move around. I'm gonna try not to like 
walk down. I'm, when I come to a junction, I'm going to look and decide because I will probably be generating clank if I go the wrong way and come back. So I want to try and not raise my clank as much as I can by just moving around crazy. But equally, I want to try and learn slash remember where any kind of soul place was. Okay, or do you know the general guideline for the soul flames? They are always hidden behind those chiseled blocks. Yes, okay. they are. But, and, and what's the deal? Are they all going to show up at the beginning or do they slowly show up throughout the game? No, it's right at the, as soon as the game starts, they're all randomized and the ones that are going to open are going to open. Closed forever. So if it's closed, it's closed for that whole game. Okay. That that the whole back. run. Okay. All right, I'm going to give you a pork chop too. Don't eat it unless you need it, but I don't want you to get stuck in there without Okay. I will without food it. if you need it. But if you do Into eat my... it, I want to know that you ate it. Okay. <laughs> You're like the worst dinner host ever. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Uh, all right, go. Ooh, I put key. I run. I door. I look at my box. I've got lots of decked out stuff. You Over have. It goes. And now we want to listen. We should hear 15 dings now. Dings coming up. There we go. Well, you brought Ethan in to make that song, man. That was that was beautiful. <laughs> yeah, right. Ethan's got talent, right? All right. Let me switch to this. Let me switch to this. Switch to this. Okay. Uh, where are you at? Okay. Ready? Go for it. I go. Okay. Ethan, music, shush. Stop making me feel all Mario fired. I'm so genuinely happy every time I hear that. Oh, did you hear that? There's a lot of noises going on. <laughs> did you hear that? Do, do, do. I think so. That was your clank being prevented. You were tiptoeing. Toad, and I am literally tiptoeing. Okay, being a bit more careful here. This wall's down already. Are you joking? There's oh, a there's a beast sense. Where? I see a beast. Okay. Oh, I don't want to go. I don't want to go that way. That trap's broken. Okay, I'm, I'm looking. Oh, oh tip. <laughs> Tiptoeing! Tiptoe, okay, mm -hmm. I'm looking for fire. So satisfying. I have no idea where any barrels ever were, but I did have a little bit of an idea where some fire was. Oh. Oh. I'm far away from any beast. You okay, just got a good. second beast sense. This is good. Don't use them all at once, please. It, there's not a limit. <clears throat> no fire there, okay. Beast sense might uh, be too powerful. Yeah, there's your third one already. Barrel. There's nothing in it. Okay. <laughs> There's nothing right by me. It scared me. Okay. I know I'm relatively safe. That's good. That's good. Tip, tip, tip. More. Oh, the B sense is going off way too much. Okay. I, I definitely got to tone it. down B sense. Man, where are all these flames? It's a bat. You're causing me clank, bat. Okay. I know that I'm safe right now. This is Beast Sense 3, so it is a high amount, but that's already the fourth time it's gone off. That's way too much. <laughs> oh, the tiptoe makes me so happy. Why are walls up if there's no clank? Good question, right? Hey. Were there walls? There's a wall right here that's down, down and out. Yeah. Oh, man. There's noise that's a good question. That feels like... Oh, that feels like going? a problem. Still looking for stuff. I'm trying to be a bit braver. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that I mean that was huge right there, right? Huge. Okay, ah, oh, there's no fire there. Okay, come on. Where are these barrels, man? These are well hidden barrels. Okay, uh up through there. Any barrels around? Trying to hug the wall. Is there a fire in there? Yeah, there's a fire in there. There's a fire though, there. <laughs> okay, oh no, I don't want to run around like panic mode though. Okay, trying to be brave. That wow, beast? that was a double, double B sense dinger. Double dinger. Okay. Picking in the prison. Fire! Punch. I found a fire. You, you, you extinguish a flame, nice. 
time. No, I'm not okay. <laughs> Let me think. Oh, good luck. Um, let me think this through. Um, <laughs> um, that. <laughs> I did it. Oh, 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 how much health do you have? One heart. Oh. One heart. Okay. 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 My palms are sweaty. I'm not even playing. My everything's sweaty. Let me through. Okay, I'm not eating my my pork job. Okay. Explore, explore. Oh, did I see fire? No, I saw lantern. Oh, you jerk. Making them look like fires. Let me visit a polar bear. Okay, there's a skeleton. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Oh, the skeleton's gonna wreck my face. Okay. Oh. Okay, right. There's no guys around. Oh, is that a barrel? There is, but there's nothing in it. Run over here. Man, this is this is scary. Fire! I found a fire. Punch. Fantastic. That's your second one. You punched out. That's good. I because I'm not regenning though, I'm I like I wanna get out. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I'm I'm done, I'm done, right? Yeah. Be silly to continue looking around. Honestly, the skeletons and the zombies are gonna be a huge threat. Oh, I didn't need that full damage right now. Okay. Um Okay, walking, making my way around town. There's a beast in the room. <laughs> I like the little song. There's a beast in the room. It's gonna eat my face. Okay. Okay, looking around, looking for fires, looking for barrels. There's he sees me. He sees me. Okay, is there a barrel in there? What is in there? Is that a is that a prize? Okay, it was like a jacuzzi. I couldn't tell if I wanted to go in or not. Okay, you beast leg. Okay, uh, no, 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 I've been here. I've been oh, here. Zed, you just missed one. No, I'm going back. Mr. What? Is there a barrel? There's a flamer. Okay, should have checked the room. Should have checked it. We're definitely nerfing beast sense. This is good. This is why we test. Okay, <clears throat> round, round. Man, I'm weak right now. All right. Right. Felms, thank you so much. Very good. That way is just too scary when you're at one heart remaining. <laughs> now you fall in that one magma block. Doop, dead. I'm doomed, so I need to find a different way round. So which way am I trying to go now? Okay, I think I've explored most of this jungle place. Oh no, I didn't want to go this way. I wanted to go the other way. But I can't. I have to go this way. Oh, the compass! You're right, I forgot about the compass. You totally forgot. Oh, there was one near, but that heartbeat is going so fast. How did you find my real heartbeat? Oh, it was up with the, it was up with the, with the guy and the thing. Yes! No! 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 Oh, I'm so happy! <laughs> fantastic that was so intense that was so intense man i am sweating i am sweating you've made me leap thank you <laughs> do you realize like right as first of all films thank you so much for that i appreciate that my drink. uh okay so you realize just before you died you reached max clank yes i realized that thank you and you do realize you had awoken the spirits of the dungeon the babe, all the babies flew out, so I should have been. I honestly sooner than that. I feel like the the stealth clank timing is pretty good. Like if that was an aggressive run, you went through like all four quadrants there. Pretty much, not not extensively. But you I, went I, all the way up to the polar bear cave. You were all the way down in the crimson forest. You were in there for a long time. I was in there for some time. <laughs> so it was time for you to be uh, escorted out, if you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah, yeah, and I was very, very well, much so. 
Um, so a couple things. B sense is way too common. I'm gonna I'm gonna tweak that right now. I mean, I would only do it a smidge though because it went off like 15 times, man. Just look at it going off now, even. Yeah, it's going off way too much. Uh, do you wanna? Oh, you know that the things come out, so I can end the game. You can end the game. Yep. Okay. Uh, punching vexes is allowed. Yeah, in the rules, it's gonna say you cannot kill. Ravagers, you cannot kill evokers. Everything else you are free to try to kill. <laughs> you had beast sense three, right? Not six? Uh, three, I think you put in. I forget. Well, it should be in your deck, right? Beast sense three. Okay. Yes. Uh, all right, oh, so. Look, there's a double one there. I got two soul seeker threes. You gave me five cards initially, right? Oh, that's way too high right there. Okay. What's that? <clears throat> you gave me five cards initially? I think I got them all back. You died and you still got the cards. Yeah, so here's the thing. There's no way for me to know whether you die or not. Right. So, and this could be a flaw in the design and I may have to figure this out. Like, the idea originally was that you only get reward cards if you make it out alive. It's almost like you should get one just for... I take it. Right now, you're going to get the cards no matter what. So you could arguably oh. just stay in there until you die, which is lame, right? Um, sure. Puffer under the bed. Oh. Well, we don't know that they used the bed. They might have used something else. But that's not a bad idea. Uh, so, Zed, just so you know, people are saying you could put a pressure plate, like, in the room, the bedroom, mm -hmm. so that if they respawn and come out, it's like, I lost. I see, I see, because they have to leave the room if they've died. Right, but Once nothing in the game is mandating that they use that bed. Eh, maybe, well, you'd have to just put it in the room. I could, I could hook something up to the exit doors. So it's only when you're leaving the dungeon and the door opens up from the outside. Mm -hmm. Which I have thought about, but that's also... That redstone is really weird and that might be hard to do. But anyway. Uh, so anyways, that's what we're going to think about. Out, out of curiosity, though, did you get anything better than a tier 1 card? No, they were all tier 1. Okay. And that's kind of... It's still very rare to get. Like, I don't, I don't see that as something I'm really worried about. Just letting you know. Okay. Can I combine two tier one cards to make a tier two card? No, you can you can turn in two you can turn in three tier one cards in the back of the shopping wing to get a yeah. tier a random tier uh, tier two okay. card. basically a tier n plus one. Yes, gotcha. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All okay. right, can, are, this are we, I can have one more run today. Is that what? Doable? What's that? Can we have one more run today? Absolutely, yeah. Um, so. Real quick, Dragon, um, Francine the Swan, uh, P Rock Mum, thank you very much. Zed's dad donated five dollars. Oh, what? Zed's dad, what a guy! He said, "Are oh, you winning, son?" That's not how he talks. Um, I, I did win. Well, no, I didn't. I lost. But I had oh. fun. All right, I have this hooked up to every potential clank, not every clank. That's why it's way too much. This needs to be a lot less. All right, that'll, I just, I basically cut it by one third there. So we'll see how that is for B-Sense. I'll be sense What's that? B-Sense, I'm, I'm messing with, yeah. Um, how are you on food there? Cause you were in there for a long time. I, I did not eat my pork chop, if that's what you're trying to. Okay, did you? I wanted to. Okay. No, I mean, did you? Were you low I, I, on hunger? Like, were you I slow? I sprint. So no, I was fast the whole way through, but I was walking a lot more at the beginning that time round. But yeah, it was the that Ravager, he hit me once and he took me down to, to one heart and I was, that was it. Right. I was great. Okay. Airblader, thank you so much. First blood. But won't the Vex reset if someone runs a dungeon twice? They only despawn on distance. Uh, that's not true. They despawn. They have a timer. Vex have a predetermined amount of time before they despawn on automatically. Poisoned on birth, aren't they? So they just yeah. After a certain so they'll all they'll all go away automatically. Okay. Uh, all right. 
So you got you got the prize there, right? I got the prize. I chose yes. I chose a B Sense one. Did you? Oh wait, which? Where was that one? Am I confused now? B Sense one. No, where where did you throw that compass? Or did you even I get the never, compass? I didn't. I didn't ever throw it. I died. With oh. It. Okay. All right, so that's still good to go again, or do you want me to relocate it to a new spot, or? Um, I think it was. I think I know roughly where it was, at least. So do you want? Do you want me to make it a new one then? Relocate it. I think it's good to go in fresh every okay. time. Okay. That sounds. Fun. Get me a. Uh... <laughs> Verdi man, five dollars. I'll have a large double trophy mocha with two extra shots, please. This is Dutch Brothers, right? I wish. I want some Dutch Brothers. Thank you, Brody. Uh, all right, give me, give me compass. I died with it, man. Oh, right. It's <laughs> long. It's gone. It's, it's gone to mind. the to the ether, right? Oh, hey, that zombie might have picked that stuff up. Oh, that's a good point. How funny would that be if you could kill a zombie? Because he won't like despawn. Yeah, he won't despawn at all. <laughs> and then you get a free key. I mean, that's kind of <laughs> awesome, actually. Like past loot of fallen. Right, stuff. right. <laughs> okay, uh, and I still have a key. Okay, let me see. Hang on. I wanna, I wanna see Maybe where they go. are first here. One second. All right. Uh, avert your eyes. Uh, okay. I don't know why, because I'm not looking at anything. I'm beast sensing, and I don't want you to... Oh, you, you can't concentrate when someone's looking. Is that how it works? Okay. Uh, let's see. We'll do... Pretty good green screen now, isn't it? Look at that. How do the hermits get keys? Uh, oh, I'm all out of bones, Dad. I'm so sorry. No. You're gonna get. You're gonna, you're gonna get a lump of uh, coal or whatever. Uh, 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 uh. That was good. The Man. Evil notion. Thank you. I did get a haircut the other day. Guy got the DNR. Thank you, people. Okay, compass is combobulated. I'm on my way out. So, so nerve wracking. And you're going, you're going with the, with the decked out deck, right? Uh, sure. Why not? Okay. What's the worst that's gonna happen? Well, you could die. Here, have this book. Random beast sense one. Okay, I'll take care of that later. Uh, all right, now the game is off, right? Obviously. Yes. Let me do this. Do this now. Oh yeah, the clank calls are they still broke? Well, can you check with your spectator that they're? I am, I am right now. They all seem like I. I Quite honestly, I'm pretty convinced they would all be down now. The real question is, are they still going up even when... Yeah, they're all... It's oh, all reset right now. Are they still going up when you're tiptoeing is, is my question. I don't know, though. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's, let's go. Let's go? I need a key. Oh, psh. You want everything? Psh. There's your key. I go. Okay, in, in I, I go. go. In I go. And Did I ever replace that puffer that died? There was a puffer that died? A puffer died? Not to my knowledge. I'm bringing one pork chop in with me again, just in case. Okay. I'm pressing the go button. I feel like I'm unprepared for some reason, but okay. Here goes the books through the sorter. Hear the fun little tune. Where are you going, my friend? I can start working it out while I'm waiting. Are you meant to wait while all the, these noises happen? Uh, you should. 
because you're not receiving the benefits yet, but it's up to you. I mean, by the time you're out of the entry area, it's going to be done. Like, it's already done, so you should be in there right now. And I'm in. And I'm in. Okay. Oh. You already got your first beast sense. Wow. That's good, because now I know I'm a little safe. Okay, looking around for things. It's about the end of here. It's so dark in this room. Wow. That's already too clanky tiptoed through. Uh, oh, man, this, the trap's too scary. So see, even there's nothing, there's no threat, and you're already like, no, nope, I can't do that. Yeah, Interesting. Scary, because I there's so much more of the dungeon I need to explore anyway. So, so I mean, if if no one's ever gonna try that trap, I need to take it out because then it's not I doing the purpose. I would try that trap if I knew I had to go that way as the shortest distance. But the fact that I want to explore a lot of the dungeon anyway means I will, what you know, why go that way when I can go another way? Oh boy! Oh no! Oh, it's seen me, hasn't it? I gotta run. Oh, it didn't see me. Okay, maybe I can explore here quickly. Oh, there's a barrel, I think, as well. Fire! Nice. <coughs> there was a barrel just in here. Money! Did you get money? I got four monies. Fantastic. That's awesome that that worked. Oh, oh boy, okay. It's scary down here. Oh, yeah, save me. I feel like B-Sense might still be going off too much. I'm not always, like, That's your fifth tiptoe now, I think. How do I get up there? Another B-Sense. Okay. Run, run, run. B-Sense is still too much. So many trees. Okay. Go up. We duck. What's up, Delta? How you doing? Checking the places that I love. Oh, Max skeleton. distance of the bell sound. It covers the whole dungeon. Around this way. You didn't check the the barrel. I'm going back that way anyway. It's fine. Wow, that soul flame. That, that so that's weird. Is wasn't it the same two soul flames last time? It might have been. I gotta double check and make sure it's not. Money. Oh, this is a problem here too. One money. One money. Oh. Is so I've seen I've seen this a couple times where like it's not lighting for some reason. Did I not Ouch. put? Get out of there. <laughs> mm. oh, yeah, that should have definitely gone off there. So I'm missing one fire that I should have had. Yeah. Why not just put B sense on a fixed timer? Maybe. Probably simpler, yeah. Okay. Is there something in this jacuzzi? There isn't anything in the barrel, though. Okay. I'm glad I checked. Okay, check. Walls are down. Okay, I see legs bouncing. I run the other way. There's a minecart going! <laughs> one shot wonder and the bell going off at that time. He was just there, man. Oh, you just got... <laughs> Ended. Where did you die? Uh, I just, uh, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know where you died? Were you in the Blackstoner? I lost track of you. I was looking for beasts, and you did a better job of than I did. I Find found him. a beast. I walked right around the corner, and he was just there. He was just right there. Oh, my goodness. Where were you? What quadrant were you in? In the dark Blackstone. I in the Blackstone, know. I thought. Oh, I see. There you are. There's your bits. I see a little pork chop on the ground. My bits. <laughs> My bits. Oh, oh wow. Man. Okay, yeah, he's there. I have been a lot more careful than that. Huh? I just went around the corner and he was put there dead. Like. So it was just like he just one shotted you as soon as. Well, I basically ran into him. I did all okay. the Okay. Well, I mean, keep keep giving me keep giving me feedback, like. Not scary. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, come on. Like, do you yeah, feel do you feel happy with what happened? Do you feel cheated? Do you feel things were too aggressive or too easy or like all that kind of stuff? I don't feel happy. <laughs> That's for sure. But no, I, I realize now I should have been taking it a bit easier. I was sprinting around a lot. Um, I should have been a little bit more careful. I'm learning how to play the dungeon. You, I think you balanced the need to rush 
and the need to be careful very well. Okay. Um, I'm, I keep forget each time I'm like, okay, this time I'm not going to be careful. I'm just going to run through. And then I'm like, oh, that was a mistake. The next time, the next run I do, I'm like, okay, be super careful, super careful. And then I'm like, oh, no, that was a mistake too. There's this middle ground. Okay. Did you end the game? You haven't ended the game yet, right? Ended the game yet. I didn't know if you needed to. Okay. Yeah, it. don't. Oh, you just oh, did. I did. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Uh, I wanted to check some of the soul flames and stuff. For Loot Finder one. I'm going back in, man. Okay, so you found your first coins in Loot Finder. That was cool. And that, that's got to be rare. Like, I don't want you to come out of here with 20 coins. Like, if you find one or two, that's that's a bonus. I came out with none. So, yeah. I'm, I found uh, no, four. you found two, I thought. I found two sets. One of them had four, one of them Wait, had Wait, you one. came out with none because you died. Yeah. I had five total, but I came out with none. Okay. In the end. Okay. Okay. All right. Do you want to go again? Yeah. Yes, please. I need that bone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you lost your compass. I'll go. I lost it all, man. Everything. All right. Uh, let's see here now. That one I intentionally made hard. It's a shame you lose the compass. You lose everything. Yeah. The real shame is if you get the artifacts and you're on your way out and die. Yes. That's the real shame because now those artifacts are gone and I got to figure out which one's rotted and try to replace them. That's the real pain. A little bit uh, of feedback. I still yeah. feel like I know well enough the value of everything. Like when I had those five coins, should I have just been like, I'm getting out of here? Or should I have just been like, la la la, carry on, because that's not much. Well, you like, tell me. What do you What do you think? What's your gut telling you? That's it. I, I have no clue currently. Like, I, I guess I need to look at the shop. Go look at the shop. Go look at the shop. Maybe it should be advised to people to... Uh, okay. I see your point. You don't know the value of a coin yet. Yes. Okay. That. So every shulker that's hidden will probably have somewhere between one and five coins in it. Okay. Um, and you can get, if you really focus on loot finder, you might come away with five to ten coins per run extra. Yes. Put hoppers under everything, right? So there's that. Uh, all right, I gotta rework B sense completely. It's still way too. But then even like down to, I don't know how much my artifacts are are kind of worth compared to coins. Well, the goal of the game, obviously, is to collect sets, right? Of course, of course. But, like, I guess what I, I need to know is, like, to complete a set, I don't know. It feels, it, it's like a lot of maths I would almost want to do to, like, really min-max everything. So I guess it's just a case of grab what you can and get out. I see that as, I see that as good. The fact that you don't know right now yes. is, is good. It's making you want to play the game, and over the course of, like, the first week, You'll you learn. would you would start to develop your own theories on like is it more important to just get the artifacts is it more important to get soul seekers is it more important to get coins right and i guess if you don't have much coins and you need them for a specific thing you'd try and just get more like your your tactics might change every right time you play. so the, i i okay. see there being like different strategies one person might just be like Screw all that other stuff. I am just going to make sure I get my artifacts and get out every time. And I'm just going to try and do as many runs as possible and make sure I'm 100% on every run in terms of getting the artifacts out, right? Another person might be like, I want to have the most powerful deck. I want to, you know, I want, I'm going to really focus on Soul Seeker and punch as many flames as I can. If I die, I die. If I don't get artifacts, that's fine because I'm playing for the late game. They'll fall behind in the score in the first week or so. But by the second or third week, they're hoping that they have a better, a more powerful deck than everyone else. And then that's what will really propel them to the top because they'll be able to do crazy things. Another person might just be like, I'm going to go for coins and really try to beat everyone at the auction house or at the, not the auction house, the, I keep calling it from my wild days, the, at the, the daily auction and the, uh, the shop. They might want to be able to just bully people with money, basically, you know? <laughs> what? I just bully people with money just... That, that's kind of what it would be, right? Okay, I need another compass, right? Uh, yes, please. I keep losing them. I'm sorry. It's a, it's a 
How's so, the job? If, if what I just said is true and people are devising their own strategies like what I just said, that's a total win. I don't know I that think, they will, you know. I think that's the case. I am definitely feeling addicted already. That's good. I the just fact that, like, you want to run again, game. right, is what you're saying? Yes, big time. Okay, that's awesome. That makes me happy. I have two of the end set. I need more of the end set, man. And pawns. Can hermits trade their decks with each other? Absolutely. Uh, it is highly encouraged that hermits trade, like, coins for cards, artifacts for cards. They can trade whatever they want, as long as they agreed on it. And that's that's another big part of the game too. All right, what am I doing here? Uh, okay, uh, avert your eyes. Averted. I've averted my whole face. Why am I not seeing any ravagers? Crafty crystal, thank you for the subscription. Blue coat, mug my wug. Oh, I wonder if when the bell goes off continually, if it doesn't work. It doesn't. Wow. Okay. Wow. Why am okay. I <laughs> okay, interesting. Uh, let's see. I don't have enough lodestones in here yet, so I really don't have that much variety, sadly. I, I just tried to get enough for like the first couple days and I was gonna add more. I, I'm by the way, do you have like a stack of ancient debris you want to donate? I don't, I've never even touched it. You've, you've never even dug one out. That's my guess. Yeah. Cubs selling it, but it's it's a diamond block for one ancient debris. So that's four diamond blocks per lodestone. That's Ooh. that's yep. a bit on the steep side. I see one. Uh. All right. So the last one I did. You said you thought you knew where it was, or what? I think I knew. A pretty close where it was. Um, I just didn't get there in time because a zombie killed me? Was that the last one we did? I forget now. No, no, no. The last one, I didn't know where it was, but I wasn't looking for the lodestone yet. I was I was just exploring, trying to find fires and, and barrels. Okay. Oh, let me double check something. It's kind of what I want to try and do. Realize what quadrant it's in and then go to like one nearby quadrant, look around there, then go to the desired quadrant, find it, and get out. Gotcha. I love the thought process there, by the way. Yeah, I might have to make a deal with Cub, but I don't want to, like, empty his whole shop either, so. Okay, there's your key, there's your thing. Can I avert my eyes? No, oh yeah, you're fine, sorry. Good. Ow, oh, bright. Okay. Uh, compass key. Uh, uh, this same box again. Uh, well, you tell me. What do you want to? Is there? How would you like to change it up? Give me eight loot finder three. You want to light a, um, a lot of loot finder? Yeah, I'm going. So, I'm so hold on. It, it, you're you're intrigued by loot finder. You have value on the loot finder cards. You say right? What loot in it? It sounds good you know okay um give me mm, no give me more of like a middle ground deck not as powerful you're saying or like the one ones twos maybe one three in there somewhere but you mix it up feel free to do what you want okay My this time is i'm gonna go near the what's compass. your what are you gonna be trying to do this time i'm gonna be trying to get the artifacts and get back safely that's goal number one Goal number two, I want at least one coin, and I would have liked to have punched at least one fire out, but also mainly get back alive. That's that's kind of what I'm aiming for here. A little bit of everything. Okay. Safe. Okay, let's see. Let's take out... And I finished my, my massive mug of water for like the first time in forever. All right, I'm set. taking back B-Sense. We're going to give you... Some speed boost this time, Ooh, which I'll be I honest, I question the value of that. I'm not sure if that's even worth it. You uh, still want to punch f punch flames and get loot, right? I wanna punch a flame. I want to get one loot, and I want to get my artifact and get out of there. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little bit extra stealth this time. Good, good. 
Okay, so you can only have five cards. That's why, in case people are wondering. All right, so you got... This is still a really powerful... I didn't really change much, honestly. Like, I'm leaving the Soul Seeker and Loot Finder there. I basically just took out Beast Sense. Added a speed. And I took out a, an extra Soul Seeker as well, too. So whatever. It's still a really powerful deck, but you're more defensive right now with the extra stealth. Yes, exactly. Ah... Uh, Dano, thank you so much. Ten dollars. Been watching the streams on YouTube. So stoked! I finally get to watch it on Twitch. Thoroughly enjoying the content. Thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. Thank you. Flushfoot. Uh, try a double compass, maybe. Uh, maybe. We'll see. I'm hesitant to open that Pandora's box. Sam Spinelli just got off work. Can't believe this late. You're pretty late. You're pretty late. Okay. Um. All right, let me switch. I apologize for the delays and all this stuff. Don't worry, don't do what you need to do, man. I'm I'm just hyping myself up, getting ready. Okay. Where's that compass point? The minecart. I want to make sure that didn't get stuck. Okay, that looks good. All right. Doors not closed. Doors aren't supposed to close. Okay. How do you control that they only use five blocks? Good question. The uh, This hopper here that sucks the cards out is only active long enough to pull five cards out. Anything, it'll take the first five cards in order that you put in the deck. And I still have to test that, but I tested it before and it worked. So I, we should be good there. All right, you all set? I was born ready, my friend. All righty. Do it up. Good luck That's to you. Got well, got oh, okay. Wait for the ding, ding, dings. Okay, that Someone should be 15, I think, right? You're good. Oh, I had the fires get lit. Fires are the soul flame. Every time the door opens, I feel like that's a creeper right there. <laughs> Every time. Uh, okay, I'm going to go around this slightly longer way to get to my compass um, area in the hope that I find a fire and a barrel on the way. Oh, but was that the end of the song? What was that? I don't know, but it sounded very... Oh, that was speed boost! You should have speed boost right now. I do, I'm fast! Excellent! That was the speed boost tune I added, I forgot! Punch the fire. That was so the speedy my... power up. These aren't the barrels, right? These are just decorative. Well, that's okay. for you to figure out. <laughs> I figured it. Oh, another speed boost! I'm Is so it... fast! You're getting speed oh! oh! Get speeded! Oh! oh, that shook me up! Oh, man! <gasps> Oh, you just 98% puckered right there. Oh, man. What are you that at? I, I lifted off my seat. Um, Oh, man. Do not do not play that clip back in slow motion. All right. Speed boost. Oh, I'm too scared to use it now. That thing's dangerous. Going around corners. Oh, that's down here. Oh, the path of the bold. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm not bold! Oh, they're growling. What is all this noise? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he double goes down the path of the bowl. That's an I interesting choice. Never, never again. You, you're still not even at like any clank though, I think, because your tiptoe is so much. You hear all those tiptoes still? I'm, I'm here. I'm hearing the tiptoes! Man, this place. Please be money in here. Yes. Okay, right now I just I can't I can't see your UI. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> yeah, we're inside Zed's head right now. I'm not playing. Okay. Okay. Running. He's right there, man. <gasps> Please. Please. Yes. I got a stone. Excellent. And now I leave. And now I leave. Give me a speedy, please. Speed now would be great. Oh, I hear him growling. Come on. Come on, me. Wait, what? I'm lost. I'm lost. <laughs> I'm lost. Okay. I think it's this way. 
Yes! Get on out of there! Successful oh. run. Good job. Okay. Oh, I punched a fire. You punched a fire. What, you... what does punching fires do? Give me better books. It gives you a chance at better cards. Yes. So let's see if that occurred. Probably Can not with just only punching one. Well, no, but we'll see. <laughs> End the game. Give that back. Beast sense one. Stealth one. Loot finder one. Okay. Sure. I punched a fire. But I know I did it in my heart. That's all that matters. Can I eat this now? <laughs> Pendle left. I kind of agree. Yeah. Okay, that was awesome to watch. That was a good run. Like, you were successful. You were scared. It didn't feel too easy. No, -uh. it felt, man, that was close. I was, uh, when I got that money, I was like, yes. When I found the compass place, I knew there was a beast like right outside that door. Right. And I just wanted to find that compass hole as quickly as I could <laughs> and get it in. But man, that was that was intense. Oh. Thank well you. done. Well done. <laughs> uh, talk to me about speed. Speed was almost more of a curse. Cause that I I nearly ran right into that guy in the in the in the castle land. That's what right. took me down. I'm nearly dead. Like I was just I just suddenly ran and boom I ran right into him. Like, um, but it was nice. I, I, w I would wish I could have almost controlled it better though. Cause when I needed it I didn't get it and then when I didn't want it I had it and it was just like well there's... I didn't feel like I was utilizing it very well. Right. Cause. I was just like, well, I'm just sort of walking along anyway. Like, it was when I was slowly looking around, that's when I got speed. And then as soon as I needed to run away, I didn't have speed. Yeah, I, I'm I'm worried that speed isn't, at least in its current implementation, isn't desirable. It almost felt like, which I don't know if you can do or want to, that it would have been nice Jay to have Harvey. Just been able to give me like a splash potion or something of speed that I could use. That you could I use when you want. I mean, that essentially just take out the whole beacon concept and make it more. Make it more like whatever your rank of speed is. That's how many splash potions you get or something. I mean, I have to go, I have to have a lot of them, but. Man does say don't splash the ravager. <laughs> right, true. but that's up to you to not do, right? Yeah, sure, sure, that's your own fault. It probably would be more satisfying to. Well, how about this? There's other beacon effects too. People are talking. This is a good idea. Maybe we just get rid of speed altogether, and because I could easily just change the beacon effect, right? All this yeah. is is it's a card that gives you a periodic beacon effect. I regen? could give you regen. That'd be beautiful. I could give you resistance. You could call it health. No. What, what are the rhymes? Beast, feast. So one hit is basically taking almost all your life. That time you did get one hit. That time I did get one hit, but I survived with like two hearts left. Or so something. in that case, regeneration would have been useless to you. Because you just died, right? Oh, no, th no, that time I did get hit by a Ravager, but I didn't get killed. I thought you got one shot. I, I couldn't tell, but... The other, the other day, the other day, the other round, the other trip, I got one-shotted. But then twice, now I've been hit by one and didn't die. Right. So it's... Sometimes you can get one-shotted, sometimes you don't, right? But then also remember, there's skeletons, there's zombies, there's slight full damage. Right. Or rushing. Right. So... All very that, little fall damage, I would say. You took it at one time because you took a weird path, but... Heart of damage or something. What's that? And then, if you get one heart of damage from something else, and then you get hit by a Ravager, you'll right. definitely... Whereas... So, a bit of regen. I think I think regen would be quite a good one to have, quite honestly. But, that also means, like, if you get hit by the Ravager, he takes you down to one heart, and you flee, you're going to be full health. How long does the beacon stay on for? Oh, true. It is like you basically get one pulse of it, but it lasts like 15 seconds because that's how long the buff lasts, I think. Maybe. 
I'm, I'm thinking resistance would be better because you're not getting a complete re repair. It's just kind of giving you an extra free hit. True. It'd be interesting to see what a, what a Ravager does to somebody. And, and how much does full regen or does full resistance help you, you know? De definitely things you need to check out. And yeah, you're right. If we're going to add the feast slash food cards, then that would be your re that would be your regen is eating. True, that's very true. What the? Yeah, and you were thinking. What just happened there? I don't know. <laughs> oh, the did door, just... the five minute timer. Oh, okay. I did nothing. I touched okay. nothing. Okay. My that, hands it was the it was the doors. Five minutes. It was just like something with the lighting changed too, which is weird. Uh, holy mug Ness, fifty dollar donation. Great stream today. Very excited. Oh, my mug is so light. Thank you very much, Ness. I do appreciate that. Oh. Uh, Adesio says, I give the piece of pie, by the way, I appreciate that. Punching a full soul flame doesn't seem to change the books enough that has never gotten higher than, than one. Correct. I, I have balanced the numbers so that it is very rare to, like, I don't want people to come out of here with tier three cards. Let's be honest. I want them to have to trade them in and slowly work up to tier three. If, if, if you could get, you know... Soul Seeker and and punch out four flames and get a tier three card every time. That's no good because you're gonna. You're, I don't want people to ever cap out their deck. Like the deck he's playing with right now is a deck that I really don't want anyone to ever be able to achieve because then yeah. they have no long. They no longer have a desire. They lose that goal. They lose that like what card do I want next? They're just done and that's no fun. So I, I for the length of the game I always want people to want better cards. So it's very rare to get a, a tier three card. Twice is more likely to get a tier two card, but to realistically get good cards, you need to punch out five, six flames per run. Um, I don't think I'll ever see that many. Well, you'll start learning the dungeon, and you'll start knowing where the soul flames are, and you'll start true. getting a path. I do know where a few more of them are. This is true. This is true. But I don't know. My gut feeling at the moment does still feel as if to find five or six and get out alive. Well, with here's. I think I might need to lower increase the probability of soul flings being revealed per run so that increase. therefore you'll have more chances to get them yes so I, I think that's like right now it's like a one in nine chance for every soul flame to be visible per rank of soul seeker definitely and again like the um, the, fl the flame isn't the point. You shouldn't go out necessarily seeking any and every flame because you're also looking around for loot. You're looking around right. for the compass. Right. And doing so. But I do think people are going to get keys faster than they get compasses, and there will probably be runs where people go in without a compass. Right. And what I think yeah. would be cool is if you customize your deck based on whether you're, what your goal is. Like, yeah, exactly. I'm not going for artifacts, therefore I'm going to stack all my Soul Seeker because that's all I want. Versus if I'm going for artifacts, maybe I just take all my Soul Seekers out and go super defensive or something like that, you and know? That's the thing. For some reason, I wasn't remembering that you get to keep your deck always. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you trade them in for other ones or whatever, but Ness, ultimately... thank you, you so much. It's not like you're, you're using them as, as currency or anything. It is actually... You build the deck better and better and better, so you can right. start getting... Right. That's choices, the, like, that's the cool metagame game. that you build yeah. up over the course of a week or two weeks. You're a genius, man. You realize that? Yeah, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it works out. Uh, you should have different beacon buffs for each quadrant. Uh, no, can't do that. The radius of the beacon. I'd have to put beacon so far away and it would be all. Of, it'd be too much of a pain. And I don't want that anyways. But but thank you, HDK. I appreciate that. Uh, all right. Are you done? I need to go and lay down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's your uh, where's your shulker of all the all the biddies? Just uh, okay. I got a deck. I got a loot. I got a no. I'm keeping that rock. Give me that rock back. That's your that's your this is my that's problem. your happy rock, right? <clears throat> I earned this rock. There's so much chat. I want to. You guys have a lot of thoughts and stuff, and I'm not reading half of them. I'm sorry, I just can't. Uh, that the how to video I'm gonna work on all day today, so. We'll see if I can get it done. I don't know that I'm be able to get it all done. Sadly, I really wanted to have it done by tomorrow. Um, Jay Harvey, mug, 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 mug. thank you very much for the five month gift sub. Not month. Yeah, uh, this, the two traps in the Nether Quadrant. I'm very concerned about those. 
I <clears throat> I feel like I need to think about them a little bit more to give you some feedback on them, okay. quite honestly. Because I feel quite torn about them. Um, like, right now, there's no case where you would go over that lava trap. That lava one, it just feels like the risk of if I fall in and just make the slightest wrong movement, I press W too quickly or whatever, I, yep. that's it. Run over. Boom. Oh, okay. Right. Have you over. have you evaluated the difficulty of the trap or straight up is it just lava? I'm not messing with this. I did it last week on stream a few times. And I've made it easier it, since then. It's now easier because it's slower flapping. and the It's much slower stuff. flapping, yeah. It, I, it, it just feels too risky to be near lava, even. Right. I think the only way I would do it is, say you had like a glass pane tightrope across. Uh -huh. And you could fall on the sides. I think then I would probably go forward for it every single time. But what would be the penalty? Like, there needs to be some penalty to falling in, right? Oh, but maybe death is too much. Way. Just mean that it's just more of a tightrope walk as opposed to a parkour jumping over timing based like the thing. other one the other one the parkour over magma blocks the idea is that you jump you jump you miss you take a couple ticks of damage on the magma blocks and you can jump back out yes except one side's broken so it's a bit harder to do but that's not too bad I'll, i i pretty much want to go over the, the the magma block one every time i'm happy to take a few bits of damage if i fall it's the lava being under okay. there and it being too difficult to do. It's well, actually it's not... way easier than the parkour puzzle. I'm sure it is, but the the result, the the outcome is too severe. The threat is too yeah. much, so you just avoid it. Too... Fair enough. So I... that's no, kind of what I that's kind of what I figured. So maybe we got to take the lava out and make it some kind of. I don't know. I'm not sure what the penalty would be because if you fall in there, I can't let you just jump back out. I'll have to re rethink it or something. Like, like I, say, I I'm not thought of giving it much thought, but I personally still just take the flappy trap doors out and just replace it with more of like a tightrope walk that's a bit harder to do um i see what you said sure maybe maybe we've got like one jump in it or something that's i i think that would be a better thing but i've not given it too much thought so okay well i'll have to think about that one but i yeah i your concern and your you see that <clears throat> and you just immediately turn and walk away is what i was af afraid of so it's the psychological like threat of instant death is too much. Help myself every time I saw it. it was yeah, like, no, no, I get it. That's oh, your yeah. natural reaction, and quite honestly, I think that's going to be the other hermit's reaction too. Yeah. So, alrighty. All right, I'll let you go. I am going to stay and chat for a few minutes, guys. If you guys want, to, I'm just going to sit here and we can talk about it. If you, if you guys want to hang out a little bit more, um, but just for a little bit. Well, I'm I'm gonna head off, but thank you so much, Tango. Thank you, man, for a that very, was, very fun game. That was incredibly useful. So thank you. Like I know that it we're at least in the ballpark with four ravagers. How it, before you go? It, they do clump up a lot. Do you feel? I didn't. I mean, I didn't feel like they clumped up too much. Like I like to think that every time you go around, you're gonna end up unclumping them because you're getting nearer to one and that pulls in the way. In theory, but if you aggro multiple, that clumps them because they come together. About okay, I would be like, oh really? If you were gonna put a fifth one in, and I definitely think that three wasn't too, uh, wasn't enough. So, so I you think like four is the right number right now, right? If it was, if it wasn't four, it would be five, and I would say definitely no more than that. So four or five, but four felt okay. The uh, the other thing, and this is what I'm leaning toward, is we start the game with four, and then like week two, as people start to get better cards, maybe we add a fifth. <laughs> you are so evil. You are really evil. <laughs> I, I think I like that. Love it. Maybe that's always an option. So yeah, it would be nice if that was some kind of dynamic thing, but if I could just like change the number cool, in there it. somehow. Okay. Yeah. Come on, boy. Come back in. Yeah. Just... Yeah. Back, back to your cage. You know. Yeah. That would be great. Yeah. Anyways, all right, man. Go. Go get your dinner. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Donations, subs, bits. You lot are absolutely crazy, and I love the bits. So thank you very much. Uh, go to the credits, and I'll see you very soon next time. Uh, goodbye. 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 I never say that. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Like I said, I'm gonna hang out a little bit, guys, and try to really just read chat. Oh, that was fun. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sneak away now, okay? Okay, that voice is creepy. Don't ever use that again. All right. <laughs> See you in Tango chat. First prelude, thank you so much for the vidies. I appreciate it. Okay, I will try to read, but if you have a question that you really want to get through or something, probably don't do it right now because I can only read so fast. 
Uh, what about creating a delayed lava flow with a few difficult jumps? So they don't see the lava before they go over it. Um, oh, like lava's on, like, on a pulse, like it's out and then it's away and then it's out and then it's away. Maybe. I think as soon as lava's involved, that's when people run away. I think I need to take the lava out, put some other penalty down there. Maybe it's still magma blocks back there and the only way out is to someplace you don't want to go or something. I'm not sure. Uh, replace the lava with cobwebs. That's a penalty. Yeah, but you still got once you fall in there. Or you mean change the whole... If we, if we can take out the whole flapping things and just make it cobwebs that you have to walk through, but that's kind of just annoying. And it also slows the, the Ravagers down too. Uh, Major B says, maybe make the beacon card selectable by the player before they enter the dungeon. There's no way to do that, because there's no way I can have the card configure the beacon. The beacon has to be preset. There's no way to do that through redstone. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of speed, and I'm going to change... That means i got to make all those cards again. Blech. I think I'm going to change speed to be resistance. i got to do some tests to see how much damage a Ravager does to a naked player with full beacon resistance. Wither Roses rather than Lava. Um... Sure. I mean, that's kind of equivalent to magma blocks, right? You're going to take a little bit. Wither Roses, you can't you can't sneak away from, I suppose. Yeah, so Wither Roses. Um, but then there's got to be a way to climb out. I could just put ladders on both sides maybe or something. So yeah, I might be able to simplify it like that. Wither Roses might be, might be an idea. Uh, put an Endermite in. They'll just kill it, probably. <laughs> you think the lava's fine, Muscar? I... It's a really, really easy trap. Like, but it doesn't matter. It's the fear of lava that people are just like, nope, I'm not messing with this. Muyara, thank you so much. $20. Congrats on this amazing work. It's awesome. You should be super proud. I'm feeling pretty good right now. I'm feeling better now than I thought I was going to feel at the beginning of this stream. I thought at the beginning of this stream it was going to be like, okay, here it comes. Here comes the major loophole that I didn't think of and ruins the whole game. What about a splash potion of the Turtle Master? Slowness for maybe Anisha, maybe. Um, yeah, we'll see. Turtle Master makes them super slow. I think that's slower than regular slowness splash potion. Um, at the beginning of the stream, I was feeling like the Ravagers weren't enough of a threat, but the fact that Zed died twice from them, and I don't think he was thrown in the towel or anything. I think he legit died twice. The Ravagers might be enough of a threat if you're trying to go too quick. Fire resistance? No, nah, I don't want to get into that. Who else will be test running the dungeon? Nobody. That's it. I'm trying to get this thing done and live. Shame that the beast is following player bad at following players. Yeah, I know. I want I The problem is, is the beast, as soon as he loses line of sight with the player, they generally stop following shortly thereafter. And because it's such a windy dungeon, it's so easy to break line of sight that that is unfortunate. But hopefully that's compensated a little bit by the fact that with four Ravagers in there, you like you lose one, but in your panic, you ran into another one. That's what I'm kind of hoping is what happens. Uh, Mononic, thank you for the piece of pie. Uh, here's some strength pie to make it over the finish line. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, the bigger incentive to go over the trap. The incentive to go over the trap is not having to walk all the way around. So, and that's a lot of clank you're generating, so. I don't feel like people are going to be very aware or conscious of their clank. And this is a downfall in the design that I do regret, is that clank is automatic. Like, you can prevent the first few clanks with stealth, and that helps. And I do feel stealth is valuable, but nothing you do after that affects the amount of clank you generate so therefore you just ignore it and you're not concerned so it's really almost just a flat timing system that lowers the walls which it would be great if there was some way to like when you're sprinting you generate clank i would love that but the only way to do that that i can think of would be to like have different clank sensors and test the time between them and if you if you hit two of them in quick enough succession that means you were sprinting but that would get really complicated but I did entertain the idea of doing that. Um, still reading. How many more lodestones? Uh, many. I want to add a lot. 
Uh, I think there's only like eight in there right now. And I, and I want to move them, but they're a little bit pain because there's a whole redstone mechanism I have to move with minecart hoppers and all that stuff. So I'd love to have... I'd love to have 20 in there, quite honestly. Remembers that as a beginner at it. He... I would not say he's that much of a beginner. He's very familiar with the dungeon at this point. A beginner is like... Scar coming in for the first time. That's going to be a beginner. <laughs> right? People who are just going to be like looking at the dungeon, not even understanding that there's four quadrants and stuff like that. So, uh, there's that. It is definitely not Scar safe. This room is not Scar safe. He's still set. This is true, yeah. So, yeah, stress. People are saying like a lot of people are going to die. And like, let's, let's be honest. I... If someone goes in the dungeon and they're immediately destroyed by a Ravager, I'm really afraid that they're just going to be like, Whoa, that's too much for me! And they don't play anymore. Like, I I want them to succeed the first few times and, and get a taste of it. I want them to win the first time. I want them to get an artifact and put something on their board and, and get that taste of like, okay, I want more. Um, so, we'll see. I don't know how to do that really, but how much did Ethos see? He didn't see any of the inside of the dungeon. B-dubs it, obviously. Yeah, dude, because he had to go inside it. B-dubs got the whole tour. You guys saw that. Uh, when they're done with the dungeon, where do they keep their card deck? Wherever they want. That's the They keep it in their ender chest, in their inventory, whatever they want. That's up to them. Uh, can you do a collab for the first run of some of the hermits? I don't know. I mean, that would just be me standing there. I think, I think that's better left off. I've made this so that it's their experience. Uh, I don't think I would add anything by being there with them, especially since I wouldn't be able to see what they're doing, and I don't want to get into spectator camera accounts and stuff. That's for their videos. Um, you should open the first week with one Ravager. Nah, they, I don't know. That's pretty. That's pretty light. If they're not even, you might you'll go the whole run without even seeing a Ravager. Then I think. Slow the flappy trap down. I I slowed it down a lot. I cut it in half speed, uh, even. So now it's like, it's very easy to walk across. Madman, thank you so much. Uh, do your compass to artifact converters accept any item other than the filters? They do. They they accept any item, but right now, the only item you could potentially have is your compass. If I introduce the feast, then they could throw their food in there or something. But again, this is just one of those rules. I'm not going to build a whole filter system on every one of these lodestone drop systems. It's not worth my time. The rule is throw your compass in there. Done. And if someone doesn't throw their compass in there and they throw something else, I'll know. And then there'll be a talking with the hermits about who's cheating. So, uh, you're right. They could get coins as well too. So I'm not. I'm not worried about that. The rule is throw your compass in. Uh, once you get the lodestone, the compass is useless. Right. So you don't want your compass anymore. You'd be stupid to throw your food in or your coins in. More threat. Two ravagers in each quadrant. Yeah. We'll see. For the flappy trap, you should make the mob blocks that retract once you fall so the hermits don't realize how dangerous the trap is. Maybe. I don't have a lot of room in there for redstone. That's a, that's a very tight area, so I'm, I gotta be careful on what kind of redstone I can do there. <clears throat> Where do hermits return the lodestone rewards when they're done? Uh, the shulker that it comes in, they return. There is a room over here that is just like Hey, throw some stuff in here, and, I, and honestly, I need to change this. It's basically just, it's just shulkers at this point. Shulkers, whatever, that, that's pretty much it. Food that they might have gotten or something like that. I, I'm going to redo this and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's the shulker that pops out of the lodestone thing where they get their artifacts. They keep their artifacts, of course. Uh, can the Ravagers end up spawn camping? Absolutely. Uh, you might... One person might end the dungeon, end the run, where they were being chased out, and the Ravager was right there, and they didn't patrol that much, and the next person starts it, opens the door, and there's a Ravager right there. Bad luck. Do the best you can. Try and sprint through, try and take one hit and survive, and in doing that, you will pull the Ravager away for the next person, I think, so I'm not too worried about that. Is the six-hour clock thing ready now? Yeah, this is the compass timer, so this is how this works. Uh, this is like a, basically a six hour timer where this slowly lights up. This is another way for hermits to get keys and compasses. If you press this button, a key and a compass will pop out here, uh, and then the timer will reset. So this is kind of like a, a peer system to finding shulkers in the shopping district above. 
And yes, everyone that everyone that joins, if you guys weren't here at the beginning of the stream, what I'm doing is every board, uh, like this one, is what it's like. Every board is going to have their own shulker in it. So when you claim a board, you get a free key, a free compass that's pre-configured, and a little bit of coins to kind of like get you going. So you don't even have to go find your first uh, your first shulker in the shopping district. Everyone gets a free run just by coming down here. That timer is almost like the button. It's exactly inspired by the button. Absolutely, yeah. What if the Ravagers enter the lobby? That's a common question. No, it's not possible because Ravagers are two and a quarter blocks tall. That entrance is only two blocks. They can't they can't get into the lobby. Doc will be camping the button. If someone camps the button, I will be happy. Uh, you were putting the bone where Ravagers were. I don't know what that means. Where did ZF go? He had to leave. He's had, he has dinner time. Put an elder guardian. I'm not capturing an elder guardian and bringing it over here. And then everyone has, and then the whole shopping district has mining fatigue. No, not an option. What am I most worried about? I'm most worried about the game not being challenging enough. I'm, I'm most worried about 90% of the players coming in here, grabbing their artifacts and leaving and being like, oh, there's a ravager. Keep going. And that's it. Uh, now that you've made it possible for people to get money inside the dungeon, will the black market be make a comeback? Interesting. I hadn't thought about that. It'd be weird because it'd have to be really cheap. Like, you'd have to be able to get something for, like, three coins. But that would be interesting. Like, oh, I found some loot, and now you're suddenly like, change of plans. We're going over to the black market. Um, and I'd also have to really trust people. That would be very tempting to bring coins into the dungeon, and it would be people would start to think that they could bring coins in the dungeon because there's a shop back there, so... And I don't want that, so I don't know. Put a tip box? Eh, I have enough diamonds. I'm not really worried. I don't care about diamonds anymore. If you want to tip me, you can tip me in, uh, <laughs> in Ancient Debris. Be sensed locally instead of all the quadrants at once, so it's not full information. Interesting. Uh, I don't know what quadrant the player's in, though, so there's no way for me to tell that. What about adding Johnny's? I mean, there's I could add a host of any type of mob to the dungeon, but I feel like that's complicating too much and taking away some of the flavor of the game. I like beasts, and I'm not even selling the evokers. I'm selling Awaken the Spirits, is what I'm calling it, because I'm really it's really just the Vex. The Vex are the, the evil spirits in the dungeon that you've awakened if you stay in too long. What about adding a fifth quadrant eventually? I mean, given how long it took to do this, I don't think so. If the game is massively successful and the Hermits are begging me for a season two of the game, maybe. Maybe. But it was, this would have to be very successful and the Hermits would have to be begging me. And I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, add some decoy blue flames. Nope, I don't want to do that. Uh, will the evokers ever fangs? I don't know. I think their first attack, attack by default is always vex. I, I suppose they could do fangs, but so what? If they do, that's great. Uh, how would you solve the possible lake problem for the Ravagers? I don't know. I got to go back there and probably make the shore more gradual. I don't know. I am going to be monitoring all the Ravagers multiple times a day to make sure they're not stuck. If they are, I will go in the dungeon myself and get them out and stuff. I don't want to add Zoglins. Uh, will Vex kill villagers? Uh, yeah. They will if they... S no, so the way it works, my, my understanding is when an Invoker summons a Vex, it is commanding the Vex on what to kill. So if it sees the player, it's summons the Vex and is saying, kill that player. I don't think they will randomly kill the villagers, especially because they don't have line of sight to those villagers because the two villagers that are in there are surrounded by cages, so. Bubble columns at the edge of the lake. That might help, Crowns. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I'll, I'll look into that. <clears throat> Beast Sense could be a random quadrant. I wouldn't be able to pick one randomly, but I could have each quadrant be its own one in 25% chance. That's very easy for me to do. Just add a 25% chance to each quadrant so they could all go off or none or something. I like that idea a lot, actually. Let me write that down. I think I might do that because that's easy to do. And that helps balance. Uh, that really helps balance beast sense. Uh, 20 and a quarter chance for each beast sense bell. That's a good idea. 
play it before I end the stream. Well, to play it, I have to configure my own compass and stuff like that, so it kind of defeats it. Uh, can Loot Finder give you artifacts? No, but I thoroughly plan to just manually go in and hide things in some of the other barrels. There's a lot of barrels in this dungeon. I'm going to go in and just put random stuff in there that's not automated. Like, Loot Finder is based off of, there's a full automated system for coins to randomly be put into barrels. And if they aren't get that run when the game resets, they're drained out of those barrels. Um, so that's good. And that's all automated, which is cool. I'm going to go in and just occasionally throw in maybe some cards, maybe some low, low tier artifacts. Who knows? In some of these barrels, because I want, I want them to always wonder what they could get. I think that'll be fun. Feast is not in right now, bloated. But we may do it. I don't know. What's under the trap door in the throne room? Who can say? Any chance of uh, an export of decked out that could be added to the above in Titancraft? I, Shadow, I don't know. Maybe. I got to talk to the hermits. I, I can't even talk that right now. Probably not. There are more secret rooms. There are definitely more secret rooms. Yeah. That I haven't shown and that people haven't found yet. You think Loot Finder is underwhelming? Maybe. If everyone thinks that, I'm concerned. If one person thinks that, I don't care. Can you run with only Soul Seeker? You could. You could put 15 ranks of Soul Seeker. If you had five tier three Soul Seekers, you would have a lot of Soul Flames exposed. So that would be like the super pro way of going through it and trying to... Uh, trying to really min-max your soul flames. Testing's been going great, 78. We had a good day with Zed. He had to leave, but I think it was overall a success. Uh, what are the chance of adding a noise when there are no soul flames left? No chance. I'd have to do massive amount of redstoning around the whole dungeon again and add a whole separate line to sync all that up. Not gonna happen. Half stealth, half soul seeker. Yeah, Jobus, that's that's what I would consider the high end pro attempt. Genesis, thank you. You're the best, Genesis. Uh, maybe the loot finder could be combined with eating or golden apples or potions in the chests. Uh, right now, there's just you're absolutely right. Right now, I just put emeralds in all those chests. Uh, I could put some potions in there, and they would randomly go in. So that's not a bad idea, actually. Um, add more than emeralds. You know, I could add emeralds. I could add a little piece of food or something, maybe. But I kind of want it to be mostly emeralds. I don't know. We'll see. A slowness arrow trap. Yeah, I do want to do more slowness traps. I had planned on doing a lot of them. I just haven't had time. Like, that, that to me is the best trap for this dungeon, is a splash potion of slowness from the ceiling that just hits you. Um, I don't know if I'll ever get to that. Let Mumbo do a run. Mumbo can do a run whenever the game opens up. If you already have a max card, I don't see anything for a lot of soul fire levels. Maybe stealth and loot finder is a better deck. Like I said, I don't, I don't expect or want anyone to get to have five tier three cards. If many people have five tier three cards in their deck, then that means I'm giving cards out too fast and I've made a mistake. I need to change that. How do sets work? So they basically, it did Zed, I think Zed left him on the board here probably, right? Yeah. So you get, <laughs> he was putting his bones up there. Uh, you get up to 12 artifacts. You put them on the board here. Um, and when you have a set, you, oh, sorry, you drop them into here and press the button and it will absorb the items. And then at the end of the day, I come down here one second while I loop around. Every day I will come underneath all this and I can see lights, whichever ones are lit up means that there are items in them. And I would check and see it's, it's a manual system. Basically, I didn't there was no way for me to realistically do the redstone for set detection uh, But if they have a legit set, I will give them a point and update the scoreboard and stuff like that So uh, I'm hoping to have you know less than a 12-hour turnaround um, Yeah, I do I need I need better <laughs> That's what I've actually been debating is like how I need an easy way for me to get down here Where the players can't get down here. I'm not sure how to do that yet I'm just like breaking through the walls constantly and stuff like I got to close that 
What about selling food and weak armor that they could bring into the dungeon? Yeah, I do think... I was thinking about that. Like, what if the shop sold, like, a, real, a piece of steak for one coin? So instead of adding, like, a feast deck, it's more of a one-time purchase for one run. It, it, I like that. The downside is... Uh, it, maybe it's not a downside. I mean, they could stockpile them, but so be it. It might be fun to say, like, whatever you buy from the shop, you could use in the dungeon. So maybe here is where I sell the splash potion of speed or something like that. And it's like, mm, is that is that worth two coins or something? I think that's fine. Steak is too powerful. Whatever. I mean, whatever the food is. But then, then they're they're giving away their coins for a non permanent benefit. So far, everything you get here essentially equates to a permanent benefit, whether it be a card, an artifact, or a key, which will lead to permanent benefits. If they just buy like a potion or something, they're they're spending their money just to improve one run. So I think that's I think that's an interesting trade-off, honestly. Balancing the economy will be tough with consumables. Well, the good thing is. I'm going to be monitoring everything that gets bought. So I, when something is bought, I know that, okay, there's a demand for that. You know, if, if keys are bought the second I put them up every time, then I know the price of keys need to go up. I will raise the price. If I have thing that something has been up here for four days and it hasn't been bought, I need to lower the price. So I will, I will adjust these prices based on demand. I do really like the, the consumables for sale on the board there. I think that'll be enticing. Stingray, thank you so much. Uh, if you add a death tracker, then rather than having players carry artifacts in the dungeon, you could have the game remember what... I don't know how I would do that. No idea how I'd pull that off, Stingray. But thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, Flushfoot, cooked chicken, easy automation for selling one-run hermits. I mean, it's not like I have a shortage of cooked chicken. I don't need to build an automated system or anything like that. I could just bring down seven stacks of it. Fireworks grand opening. All right. I'm going to wrap it up, guys, here. Um, yeah, noise is a totem for sale is a good idea, too. I like that. Uh, Elroni, thank you. I appreciate that. Lost some diamonds on a bet. The Zed would die. Fantastic. Good. I'm glad. Uh, okay. Who we got to raid here? I appreciate you guys hanging out. I really appreciate all the feedback. Today went well. I'm a little bit more I really confident. I need to not listen to myself. Mute that. Let's go over here. Give me a second. We have too many people to raid now, don't we? Yes. Too many choices. Too many hermits. They have four hermits streaming today. Uh, who have we not raided in a while? We've raided Ren recently. Let's raid. Let's raid Azuma. Let's raid Azuma. Azuma is so good to us all the time. Uh, you guys choose. You guys choose which hermit you want to go to. Obviously, there's four. We got we got Ren streaming. We got Fall streaming. We got Hitman streaming. We got Azuma streaming. Have have fun. Enjoy your day, guys. Uh, I'm gonna work very diligently on my how to play decked out video today, and we'll see how far I get. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I can't wait to open this. And now I'm a little bit more convinced that this is actually gonna work and be a lot of fun. Um, if you guys have any more ideas, obviously feel free to tweet them at me or anything like that. I'm always reading those too. So have a good day, guys. And uh, if I don't stream, my next stream will be Friday with Impulse. Possibly some other time with Birdie playing Raft. My phone's going off. Goodbye, guys. Raid now. End stream.